In the next new month, I will shower you with the significant benefits and affection that you are worthy of, says God, my beloved toddler. See it for yourself by watching the whole video. A word of encouragement from God, my little baby. Trust that He can convert even the most difficult circumstances into opportunities for your personal development. When faced with the difficulties of daily living, this film provides a fresh viewpoint. Looking at Jesus through this promised lens highlights the idea that there is always room for growth and betterment, no matter how bad things become. Difficult circumstances, whether internal, like health issues or mental upheaval, or external, like financial difficulties or relationship problems, are an inherent aspect of life. Depression, annoyance, and a sense of powerlessness are common emotions brought on by such challenges. Nevertheless, there is hope because God has the power to turn these challenges into opportunities for growth and good change. Here, boom means an improvement of one's own traits, such as resiliency, vitality, insight, and empathy. As they handle difficult circumstances, individuals often find themselves forced to widen such qualities. Overcoming a financial obstacle, for instance, may foster financial acumen and mental toughness, while dealing with a personal loss, on the other hand, can foster emotional resilience and empathy. Get a head start right now if you need to quickly appeal for large sums of money. Follow the link in the comment section to read about the shocking riches, secrets, and methods uncovered by the metamorphosis of a renegade NASA scientist. Unless otherwise specified, all other parts of this pledge allude to substantial exchanges of human viewpoints or examples. Resilience is the ability to bounce back from adversity by acquiring new skills or re-evaluating one's perspective on life. If you're coping with a health issue, for instance, you could develop a greater appreciation for life and health. If you're dealing with a professional setback, you might find that overcoming obstacles leads you to a more satisfying career path. Believing that God can and will alter you during these difficult times is a tremendous act of faith which is why maintaining faith is crucial. This faith does not try to erase the pain or difficulties of the times. Rather, it presents an optimistic perspective that something valuable may be acquired from the pleasure. Also, have patience when things become tough. It usually takes time for transformation and boom to manifest. In the face of adversity, endurance entails sticking with the task at hand with a strong belief that the outcome will be worth it. The pursuit of knowledge requires direction, which may be best achieved through reflection, prayer, or seeking advice from those on whom one is reliant. Developing self-awareness paves the way for well-informed decision-making, which in turn may facilitate efficient situation management. There is a chance to practice resilience in difficult times as well. The ability to recover quickly from adversity and persevere in the face of adversity is known as resilience. It is about getting down to brass tacks and finding ways to conquer obstacles. Being more resilient helps in the here and now, but it also makes you more equipped to handle difficult circumstances when they come your way. Another method to transform challenges into opportunities is to embrace and learn attitude. It means you should always be on the lookout for opportunities to learn, no matter how challenging the scenario. Every challenge has an opportunity for personal development and improvement. Being grateful, even when things are rough, may change your outlook. You may turn a low-quality existence into a high-quality one by being grateful for the lessons taught, the strength gained, and the help garnered all during terrible circumstances. Challenging circumstances might also teach you to appreciate the good things that other people have in their lives more deeply. Last but not least, going through tough times may teach you valuable lessons and make you more attuned to the plights of others around you, which can cultivate empathy and the will to lend a hand. God's word of desire and encouragement is that even the most difficult circumstances may be turned into chances for growth and change. Maintain your faith, train your endurance, seek out knowledge, and strengthen your resilience. Incorporate an attitude of mastery, practice thankfulness, and broaden empathy. 
Not only can these methods greatly facilitate problem solving, but they also bring about massive personal growth and life-altering shifts. My little child, trust in God and He will lead you to salvation, says God. His knowledge of steering and wish-making is extensive. This promise shows that no matter what your lifestyle is like, if you put your goals before God, you will succeed. In this sense, trust is more than just believing. It's an ingrained dependence on God's knowledge, timing and plans. Part of it is trusting that God created you and has a purpose for your life. If you really trust God, you will let go of your urge to control every situation and follow His leading instead, and you will find satisfaction. Achievement is determined by your goal, attaining a personal and religious boom and having a wonderful impression worldwide. Fulfillment may not coincide with the typical concept of riches, power, or reputation, as discussed in this prologue. Belief in God leads to a more complete sense of satisfaction, one that includes not just monetary success, but also mental, spiritual, and emotional health. It is essential to foster a strong faith. Prayer, meditation, and the study of sacred texts are the pillars upon which this faith rests. By strengthening your bond with God through these actions, you will find it simpler to seek His counsel. Another critical aspect of having faith in God is perseverance. You can't expect instant gratification or even the path you see for success. Having the ability to stay on course throughout this journey requires trusting in God's timing, His knowledge, and His plan to bring about the fulfillment He has promised. It is vital that God be informed of the selection process. Asking God for guidance might be part of this. Real happiness is within your reach if you seek the advice of the wise and dependent, pay attention to signs of God's way in your life, and base your decisions on this heavenly wisdom. Another way to be adaptable is to put your trust in God. Sometimes you may get instructions that you did not anticipate from God. One way to believe in His plan for you when you're doubtful or facing problems, is to be open to those changes, even if they're hard or odd. Your faith may be strengthened by remembering past instances when you have been directed by God. You may find comfort in remembering these times because they demonstrate God's faithfulness and His ability to lead you successfully in your daily life. Having faith in God does not mean sitting on your hands. Even while you seek God's will, you must go forward actively in pursuit of your goals. Achieving this balance requires you to do your part while also putting your confidence in God to perform His. The path to satisfaction, which includes relying on God, also offers opportunities for personal improvement. Improving one's character requires cultivating traits like thankfulness, persistence, and modesty. Achieving personal and societal success requires certain traits which are also critical for spiritual development. Maintaining an optimistic and high-quality frame of mind is crucial while trusting God. Keeping a positive mindset allows you to identify opportunities despite difficult circumstances and maintains faith in your fate. Success attained by putting one's confidence in God usually accompanies the duty to encourage and support others at some point. You may double your rewards by telling others about your trip, helping them through their problems, and utilizing your satisfaction to make a positive impact. Last but not least, the promise that He will lead you to happiness is an encouragement to put your faith in divine providence, belief, perseverance, seeking truth, openness to alternative, reflecting on previous instruction, action, personal progress, positivism, and helping others to exclaim, Bless me, my Lord Jesus, are all in agreement with this. Inspiring this kind of faith may lead to a fulfilling and successful life in the most authentic sense, one that is characterized by development, impact, and success outside of the secular realm. Good news from God, my precious little one, the Lord, is now making wonderful changes in your life, including an encounter with spontaneous wants and rebirth. Significant and beneficial changes are on the horizon, and this promise indicates that they will have an effect on your life. Good changes may manifest in many different ways and in many different parts of life.
They might happen in your own circumstances, like a new opportunity, a solution to a problem you've been facing, or an unexpected source of joy. God is actively working in your life via these changes, which are bringing you benefits and advantages. You are encouraged to be alert and open to the changes occurring around you because the idea that these adjustments are happening today gives you a sense of urgency and anticipation. You can see God's hand at work in the world when you pay attention to the tiniest good things happening. In your partnerships, you may see wonderful exchanges. Relationships that are struggling throughout rehabilitation might be a result of this. The development of new friendships or strengthened bonds with existing ones may improve your general health by increasing your sense of belonging and providing emotional support. Fantastic shifts may also occur in your academic or professional life. Opportunities that have arisen recently can be one example. Improvements like getting proper credit for your work or learning new skills may pave the way to personal growth and future success. Improving one's health may also have a positive effect on one's mental and emotional fitness, as well as one's physical health. Because excellent health is the bedrock of a rich and active life, this is a substantial and consequential trade. A different kind of positive alternative is monetary stability, sometimes called progress. Along with paying off debt, getting a windfall, or learning smarter money management, this may be a financial solution. Having a secure financial foundation helps alleviate stress and anxiety. An essential part of this beautiful profession is spiritual development. More profound non-secular knowledge may be available to you now. Having a deeper connection to a higher power or a revitalized religious experience may greatly enhance your life, providing guidance and strength through all of life's challenges. Positive transformation may also take the shape of mental and emotional development. This may manifest as improved coping skills, a more optimistic view of life, or a surge of confidence. To face the challenges of life and welcome its opportunities, while relishing in those wonderful changes, you must have the mental and emotional stamina to do so. Being grateful at all times is essential. Acknowledging and appreciating every gift, no matter how tiny, fosters a positive outlook and attracts more kindness into one's life. You can also increase the impact of those helpful tweaks by sharing them with others. Your acts will improve not just your life, but also the lives of those around you, whether they be giving encouragement, sharing assets, or really spreading optimism. Promoting open-minded and compassionate alternatives is of utmost importance. Being receptive to change, even when it's unexpected or forces you out of your comfort zone, may lead to exciting new opportunities. The key to making the most of those wonderful inclinations is to embrace exchange as it often provides progress and new chances. A powerful reminder of desire and heavenly involvement, God's message is that these days will bring amazing modifications to your life. These changes in your professional connections should be on your radar as you go about your day. These vast variations in health, wealth, religious understanding, and mental and emotional stability are evidence of God's active love and presence in your life leading you toward a more fulfilling journey. A successful experience of longing and transformation is brought about by God's soothing message, my dear infant. He is entering your lives to change your disappointment into happiness and your economic circumstances from dreadful to prosperous. This prophecy portends a sea change in your emotional and financial circumstances, ushering in a time of great trade and plenty. It takes a tremendous shift to get from being sad to being happy. Regret, whether it's over private losses, public failures, or just plain old life's challenges, may weigh you down. Particularly encouraging is the prospect of this load being replaced with joy. To be happy in this sense is to experience a kingdom of righteousness that encompasses all aspects of your life, not just fleeting joy. The second component of God's promise is a better financial situation. Going from broke to rich is a huge change in your financial status. This change might manifest in a variety of ways. Opportunities for new employment, 
successful businesses, wise investments, or even a windfall of cash. Being rich in this sense means more than simply accumulating money. It also means being financially stable and secure, which may lead to independence and the capacity to assist others as you prepare for these changes. Faith and desire must be maintained in order to believe in God's capacity to change. The key to seeing those promises realized is your lifestyle and believing in His time. As part of your faith, you will depend on power sources other than yourself and keep an eye out for miraculous transformations. No matter how challenging the current situation may seem, cultivating an attitude of thankfulness is essential throughout this period of change. Being grateful for what you have helps pave the way for more of the good things in life, no matter how little. Expressing gratitude helps you focus on the positive aspects of your life rather than dwelling on the negative. Preparing for financial betterment entails both practical action and the utmost faith. This might include learning about money management, consulting knowledgeable sources, or making wise decisions about your job and expenditures. Stability and progress in the long run depend on how well one manages material gifts. Emotional and mental shifts are also part of the process of going from miserable to happy. It's about finding joy in the simple things and keeping a positive attitude. It's about doing things that make you happy. It's about surrounding yourself with supportive people. And it's about getting professional help if you need it. You may make the most of such changes by sharing the journey with other people. As you go from misery to joy and prosperity to poverty, look for ways to help and support those who are going through the same things. Those around you might find encouragement and inspiration in hearing your story. Being receptive to different options is crucial. You may have unexpected opportunities and changes in course as a result of God's hand in your life. Embracing these changes, no matter how challenging they may be, is a necessary step on the path to fulfillment and prosperity. A non-secular boom is occurring at this moment of upheaval as well. One way to make such changes more enjoyable is to get closer to God, to know His love and promises, and to live in accordance with His ideals. Not only does non-secular growth often bring forth a sense of purpose and accomplishment, but it also enhances the typical joy and contentment. Ultimately, the assurance that God will intervene in your life to transform your sorrow into joy and your financial situation from poverty to plenty serves as a powerful message of hope and an alternative as you face this transformation. Keep faith and hope alive, be thankful, and work for a better financial situation. Positivity on an emotional and intellectual level, sharing your journey, being open to change, and seeking non-secular progress are all important. Following these procedures will not only set you up for success from the get-go, but they will also guarantee a permanent change that satisfies God's promises. Your whole family is about to go bankrupt, my little kid. Express your heartfelt hopes and dreams for the future of your own family. Big positive changes are about to ripple through your family life, heralding the beginning of a new and remarkable chapter according to this heavenly promise. The idea of an unexpected new bankruptcy suggests a change. This is exceptional and goes beyond typical expectations. Relationships, health, wealth, and general well-being are just a few areas that this might touch on for your family. The promise of growth and improvement extends beyond the usual course of action. Your family ties might be one area where you can make a change. This fresh chapter has the potential to mend broken relationships by encouraging more understanding, affection, and unity among family members. A more supportive and harmonious home life is one of the many benefits that may accrue from cultivating advanced connections within a family. This shocking new bankruptcy can also include financial innovations or upgrades. This may manifest in novel forms of entertainment. Cash pressures might be alleviated by unexpected cash blessings or successful business initiatives. Providing stability and safety for your loved one's health and happiness are also essential parts of a family's way of life. 
Those in your family who have been struggling with health issues, whether mental or physical, may find that this new chapter leads to better fitness. Any transaction in this area has the potential to significantly affect the family's well-being and capacity to operate. New chances for personal and familial development, including educational ones, may also be hinted to by this promise. Preparing for this next chapter as a family may be even more meaningful when you share stories of journeys, new endeavors, or improved family lives that have broadened your horizons. It is critical to hold on to a solid sense of optimism and faith. You were able to breeze through this change by keeping your faith in the potential of a striking deal and your optimistic view. Being receptive to genuine things and having faith that they will come is about it. It is really essential right now to practice thankfulness. Making the most of what you have and looking forward to what the future holds may do wonders for your loved ones. Practicing thankfulness helps you value one another and the journey you're taking as a group. The success of this new part may depend on the family's ability to communicate and work together. Ensuring everyone is on the same page and supportive of one another may be achieved through open communication about expectations, aspirations, and intentions. Being able to work past differences and move forward as a team is more indicative of team spirit than the absence of arguments. The idea of a mind-blowing shift also encompasses being receptive to unexpected ways in which these changes may occur. Unexpected papers may reveal the next chapter in your family's bankruptcy. To better adapt to these shifts, it helps to have a malleable and open mind. It may be quite rewarding to share the lessons and advantages of this new chapter with others, especially when you see positive improvements in your own family. Try to think of ways you can support and encourage other families. For others who are struggling, your narrative has the potential to inspire and motivate them. Ultimately, hearing that your family is about to embark on an exciting new chapter is a beautiful change and a deep message of optimism. Be religious, have an optimistic view, and be grateful as you prepare for this new step. Promote unity and open dialogue, embrace the unexpected, and don't be afraid to share your story with others. Your own family will benefit from this method. You may enhance your life and deepen your relationship by including and taking advantage of the remarkable alterations made in advance. God's message, my darling, the days of anxiety, depression, and financial difficulties will be swiftly replaced by a period of joy, plenty, and the unexpected. Your life will undergo a radical change when you experience a miracle. A huge change from hard times to a time of blessings and happiness is heralded by this promise. A lot of people go through life worrying and being unhappy. Uncertainties over one's future health, relationships, or finances are common sources of worry, while disappointed expectations or unfulfilled objectives may lead to disappointment. The hope of experiencing a positive transformation in recent times fills one with delight and relief. Here, happiness is more than fleeting joys. It means a country at peace with itself and its inhabitants. Financial difficulties are a major source of stress and worry. The hope of moving from financial hardship to plenty is encouraging. To have an abundance in this sense is for a country to have more than enough and to be able to share with other nations. You are able to live comfortably and lavishly since your finances are roughly in balance. An element of divine involvement is introduced when the subject of unexpected miracles is brought up. A miracle is an extraordinary event that defies human understanding or ability to explain. While you're getting ready for this change, it might come in many forms. An unexpected opportunity, a choice to deal with an ongoing problem, or a blessing that completely changes your situation. It is critical to maintain trust and desire. Your capacity to manage this change will be greatly affected by your faith in a better future and your optimism. Having faith means having confidence in things that cannot be seen and in the idea that better things are going to happen soon. Keeping an attitude of thankfulness during this transaction is also crucial. Being grateful for what you have now, no matter how little, lays a good foundation for what is to come. 
Expressing gratitude helps you focus on the plenty in your life rather than the things that are lacking. Keeping a positive and optimistic outlook might be helpful during this time of change. Focusing on the positive aspects of any circumstance and anticipating future quality is key. Preparing for wealth and miracles also involves reasonable actions in terms of finances. A magnificent mindset attracts excellent outcomes and helps you understand and seize chances when they arise. It might include being open to new ways of making money, seeking advice on financial matters, or planning and managing your resources properly. Stability and progress in the long run are guaranteed by the responsible management of financial blessings. You may enhance your experience with this version by sharing the trip with others. Find ways to help and support others who may be going through tough times as you go from being afraid and disappointed to happy and abundant. Conveying your story may motivate and encourage others around you. Embracing change is crucial. Passing into a higher realm of existence might bring forth unforeseen possibilities and changes in direction. Part of the journey toward joy and plenty is tackling those changes, no matter how uncomfortable they are. During this time of transition, there is also an opportunity for personal and spiritual growth. To get the most out of the high-quality upgrades, it might help to expand your horizons intellectually, spiritually and physically, and to make your actions reflect your beliefs. Reason and satisfaction are common outcomes of spiritual and personal development. Ultimately, the message conveys the hope that financial woes, disappointment and anxiety will soon be replaced by joy, plenty and unexpected miracles. A strong statement of desire and positive transformation. Maintain your faith and optimism. Be thankful, think highly of yourself and take action to improve your financial situation while you go through this change. Make a percentage of your trip. If you embrace this promise with an open mind and heart, it may lead you to a rich and satisfying life full of joy, plenty, and miraculous events. Be open to new experiences and pursue personal and spiritual development. God's encouraging message. My precious child, when you make prayer a habit, miracles emerge as an everyday part of your lifestyle highlighting the special relationship between prayer and the enjoyment of extraordinary things. The promise here is that by making prayer a habit, that is, by talking to the divine more often, you might open yourself up to ordinary, extraordinary things that happen in life. Praying systematically, having an impromptu chat with God, or just meditating in silence are all viable options. Praying regularly isn't so much about asking for favors as it is about becoming closer to God, showing appreciation and seeking wisdom and insight. The promise makes reference to miracles, which are defined as extraordinary occurrences that often defy explanation. These could be huge, life-altering events, or little but meaningful ones that provide happiness, relief, or insight. The statement that miracles become commonplace demonstrates how being in prayer all the time makes you more sensitive to seeing and experiencing such miraculous occurrences. In a stressful and troubled society, one miracle that may come from regular prayer is an increased feeling of serenity and tranquility. It is a miracle in and of itself when one finds inner calm through a strong religious connection. Finding inner calm may help you deal with the stresses of your existence in a calm and collected manner. Another miracle that may result from prayer is the cultivation of an exceptionally sympathetic and empathic disposition toward other people. Talking to God on a regular basis might help you understand and sympathize with other people's troubles because it opens your heart and mind. Reconciling with a loved one, where a preference exists for strengthening ties of love and understanding, or forging new connections that enhance your life, are all possible outcomes of the joys and pains prayer. Those fantastic connection shifts work. A reliance on prayer may also lead to unexpected solutions to issues which can enhance your everyday lives. In your frequent requests for heavenly direction, you may discover that answers and solutions present themselves in unexpected ways. From recovering from an illness or overcoming emotional traumas, 
to experiencing a general increase in physiological and mental health. Prayer may often lead to physical and emotional restoration, which can be breathtaking, by addressing problems that appeared insurmountable. Your quality of life may be significantly impacted by modifications. Making prayer a habit may lead to personal development and change. Consistent self-reflection and spiritual connection may cultivate qualities such as tenacity, fortitude, modesty, and vitality. Because it signifies a huge shift in your man's or woman's perspective on life, this personal metamorphosis is quite miraculous. If you believe this to be true about God, then the miracles that come from prayer also include finding joy and thankfulness in the ordinary things of life. In the midst of life's many blessings, both big and small, you could have times of overwhelming happiness and gratitude. Maintain an attitude of openness and receptivity as you establish prayer as a regular practice. Count on or beg for miracles, and they won't always come your way. To fully appreciate and experience miracles, one must be open to the many ways in which they might materialize. Finally, the takeaway is that when you establish prayer as a regular part of your life, miracles start happening all the time. This shows how important it is to pray regularly to encourage a life full of great reports. Be ready for a life filled with moments of deep joy, healing, personal development, serenity, compassion, stepped forward relationships, and unexpected answers when you pray regularly. Daily, you're reminded of the divine presence and energy via these miracles, which are more than merely high quality happenings. My little one, if you start praying, you may just begin to win. What this means is that there is a strong correlation between praying and achieving success in many areas of life. You may start a high quality shift toward conquering challenging conditions and reaching your objectives via the practice of prayer, as this announcement indicates. The fundamental idea of beginning to pray is to achieve regular communion with God. This might include a variety of prayers, including those that express thanks, seek direction, ask for strength, or intercede on behalf of others. Praying is more than just a ritual. It's a means to connect with a higher power, to balance your emotions and ideas, to find solace, and to aid in the beginning of your victory. In this sense, to prevail does not always mean to achieve material success or to win over adversity. Rather, it means to triumph over the difficulties that one faces in life. If you want to succeed in life's adventures and find pleasure and happiness, you have to reach your own objectives. Presenting readability and awareness is one way in which prayer leads to victory. Your aspirations and the way to achieve them may become more apparent to you through prayer. You may live more focused on what's really important and make better decisions because of its readability. On top of that, prayer gives you strength from inside, which may be a source of comfort when times are tough and give you the will to keep going even when things get tough. A vital component of success is inner strength, which enables one to overcome obstacles and keep going even when faced with failures. Characteristics like humility, empathy and patience may flourish when one prays. Having these traits is crucial for personal growth and may greatly improve your chances of success in many areas of life. You may become wiser and more compassionate toward yourself and others through prayer. Relationship advancement is the key to success in prayer. Better relationships may be yours through prayer's guiding light in your interactions with others. To live a life filled with joy and fulfillment, solid connections are essential. Praying also invites God to step in and provide direction, which might lead to unexpected opportunities, answers to prayers, and direction while making decisions. Your achievement might be greatly enhanced if you can recognize and accept such heavenly interventions. Despite the constant emphasis on external success in today's world, the reliance on prayer may provide a sense of calm and serenity. You may find pleasure and fulfillment no matter what happens outside of you when you have the inner serenity that comes from a solid, non-secular life. A more profound sense of purpose and satisfaction may be attained through consistent prayer. 
As a result, you are better able to comprehend the meaning of your life and direct your actions accordingly. Living a life inspired by a purpose brings true happiness. Keep your heart and mind open and responsive when you pray. Things won't always work out the way you plan. You may make the most of your journey by being receptive to unusual forms of satisfaction and understanding the value of varied narratives. Finally, the message emphasizes the power of prayer to alter lives, helping you achieve success and satisfaction when you start praying regularly. Get ready for a trip characterized by a surge of energy inside, crystal clear thinking, and developing connections. The true indicators of success that may be achieved via non-secular connection and prayer are divine guidance, tranquility, and a sense of purpose. My precious little one, I am able to replace your doubts with confidence and lead you through trials, says God. A deep feeling of comfort and support is conveyed by this assurance. This assurance demonstrates that you are no longer alone during difficult times. You never know when God could show up to calm your fears, strengthen your faith, and point you in the right direction. Concern about the unknown or a sense of being crushed by the difficulties of daily living may give rise to the potent idea of substituting religion for worries. Has the potential to paralyze, yet religion offers a guarantee of something greater than oneself. The belief that there could be a higher power's purpose and logic even when things seem hopeless. Putting your confidence in a power greater than yourself and having faith that everything will work out for the miraculous realization of God's promise are essential components of making the leap from fear to faith. Your compass in trying times is just as big. Difficult times, moments of perplexity and sadness are commonplace on the road of life. The assurance of divine guidance implies that you will not be left to fend for yourself during these challenging times. Whether it's through gut feelings, peer pressure, a sudden insight, or a sense of calm while deciding what to be, God's guidance is always there. This promise, it is important to teach children to rely on prayer or meditation when they are afraid. These routines may help you relax, feel closer to God, and strengthen your faith via prayer. If you wanted to, you could talk about your worries and seek help. It is also important to be receptive to the ways in which God's advice may come. Sometimes, unexpected ways or unexpected resources might provide guidance. Understanding and receiving this direction calls for a receptive heart and intellect. Perseverance and faith are also necessary for the development of religion in times of adversity. It's about clinging straight to desire when things seem darkest and hanging on to the idea that there is light at the end of the tunnel. Another way to turn fears into trust is to pray for thankfulness. You may change your outlook from what's missing or difficult to what's high quality and beneficial for your life by concentrating on the things you're thankful for. There is solace and perspective in sharing one's experience and tales with others. Sharing your challenges and the ways you are seeking to overcome them in a faith-based way may often be illuminating, not just for yourself, but also for others who may be experiencing similar difficulties. To understand where your worries are coming from, introspection and focusing on yourself are essential. To get to the bottom of things and maybe even find some faith, it might help to think about why you feel interested and what causes those feelings. Part of this process is learning to release your need to control every aspect of your life, realizing that you can't control everything and that there are moments when giving up control and submitting to a higher force brings more calm than living in constant anxiety are the main themes. In conclusion, I can reassure you of the Divine's presence and help you navigate life storms by updating your fears with faith and guiding you through tough times. In your pursuit of spiritual growth, remember to pray often, be receptive to God's instruction, be patient and thankful, share your story, engage with someone who reflects your image, and learn to let go. In addition to guiding you through difficult circumstances, this religious approach will enrich your life by instilling a greater feeling of calm and logic. My darling, 
you bring me into your life and grasp existence via prayer according to God's deep message. In miracles, the power of prayer is emphasized. It is said that when you pray, you invite divine intervention and incredible changes into your life. Praying is like having a chat with the Almighty. It's a way to let God in on your thoughts, concerns, desires and appreciation as you go about your daily life. This invitation is more than just a formality. It is a declaration of your desire for a relationship with God and an admission of God's presence. The term existence converting refers to miraculous events that cause profoundly positive changes that alter your life's trajectory. A miracle is a remarkable event that does not conform to the norm or follow conventional logic. These periods of great need may manifest in many ways, from physical healing and emotional breakthroughs to unexpected chances and answers to difficult challenges. A restful inner state is one of the marvels that might withstand prayer. In a world full of stress and strain, a miraculous prayer that can settle your mind, ease your thoughts, and bring stability in the midst of life's upheaval is the peace that exceeds comprehension. Praying also yields other wonderful outcomes, such as direction and clarity. There are times when life seems chaotic and pointless. Praying about it could help you figure out what steps to take and what choices to make. When you are confused or lost, readability becomes a major consideration. Restoring damaged or strained relationships is another possible outcome of prayer, the power of prayer. This healing is a miracle in and of itself, bringing back love, forgiveness, and competence. Financial breakthroughs, such as relief from financial hardship, the settlement of debts, or the discovery of previously unanticipated financial opportunities, may also be the outcome of prayer. Your financial situation may change dramatically as a result of these adjustments. A non-public boom and growth may be brought about by prayer, which provides stability and independence. Virtues like perseverance, resilience and compassion may be sprouting out during this surge as well. Becoming a more grounded, empathetic and resilient person is a remarkable journey that gives meaning to your life and the lives of others around you. In the middle of mundane lives, there may be miracles that include moments of joy and thankfulness. For both big and little blessings, you may feel deep delight and appreciation. Appreciating life more fully becomes possible when you learn to see such instances as miracles. It is essential to have an open mind and heart when engaging in prayer. Miracles may not always manifest in the way you anticipate or desire them to, but when you remain receptive to the myriad ways in which God works, you are able to fully appreciate and experience them. Finally, by praying, you bring me into your lives and gain life-changing miracles. These show how powerful prayer is at bringing about heavenly intervention and great changes when you pray. Get ready to live a life filled with serenity, understanding, and restored connections. The power of allowing God to enter your lives through prayer and being open to the changes He brings is demonstrated by economic breakthroughs, personal booms, and moments of deep joy and thankfulness. Praying for a miracle while you sleep tonight, I can tell you the good news and give you a sense of divine timing according to God's reassuring and hopeful words. God, I need your healing. In particular, this message indicates that this wonderful occasion will arise during the night sowing the seeds of the long-awaited answer to your prayers. Imagine for a second the profound idea of receiving a miracle as you sleep. When you're asleep, you're not thinking about or worrying about any of life's problems, so you can relax and be vulnerable. You can rest assured that divine intervention isn't reliant on your own efforts, because God will paint a picture on your behalf during this time of relaxation. Your personal circumstances and the specifics of your prayers determine the breadth of possibilities that the miracle you have been seeking might encompass. Whatever area you've been seeking divine intervention in, health, relationships, finances, personal struggles, etc., is fair game. An unexpected and substantial shift is implied by the promise of an overnight miracle. A lot of people picture miracles as sudden, 
incredible events that completely change their lives. Hope and excitement can be evoked by the thought of waking up to a miracle. A firm faith in God's perfect timing is emphasized in this message. The fact that the miracle is happening while you sleep tonight demonstrates how divine interventions are timed with precision and practicality. Your prayers are being heard and they will be answered at the right time. Being receptive to the ways in which a miracle might come to pass is also essential. Sometimes miracles arrive through bureaucracies you didn't expect or in ways you didn't understand at the time. You can fully embrace and appreciate the miracle as it happens if you are open to diverse possibilities. A strong act of religion is believing in the promise of a miracle, especially when it has not yet materialized. The idea of a miracle happening in the middle of the night also speaks to the energy of faith. Belief in the unseen and the ability to hold on to desires despite doubt are hallmarks of this faith. In order to be ready for the miracle, while you sleep, keep your mind in a calm and hopeful state. The key is to stop worrying and start trusting that God is working on your life. An important part of this approach is being grateful. A positive and open attitude can be created by practicing gratitude in advance for the miracle that is about to be received. When you feel grateful, your spirit is more attuned to the wonderful changes that are about to take place. Telling others about your miraculous recovery as soon as it occurs can be an inspiration and a powerful testimony to the efficacy of faith and prayer. Some people may be hoping for miracles of their own and your celebration can give them hope and faith. Finally, as you get ready to go to sleep tonight, the message that I can perform the miracle you've been praying for is a powerful assurance of divine intervention and timing. Keep your faith strong. Be receptive to whatever form the miracle may take. Keep your heart calm and thankful and be prepared to share in the great exchange that is soon to occur in your life. Praying powerfully and trusting that the divine will answer your deepest desires are both demonstrated by this promise. The comforting words of God my pricey toddler will be a sight to behold and will put your anxieties to rest. Spread a deep wish for opulence and joy. A large and fantastic trade is soon to be upon us, as this promise indicates. One that isn't just profoundly important, but also powerful enough to calm your nerves. The word wonderful connotes excellence and motivation in this setting. Depending on your concerns and goals, this can cover a lot of ground in terms of opportunities. Trusting that this change will alleviate all of your worries is reassuring, especially since it is likely a fantastic turn of events, a first-rate leap forward, or a miraculous blessing that stands out due to its significance and effect. There are a lot of potential origins for concerns. In times of financial strain, health problems, relationship difficulties, or future uncertainty, the promise of relief from these worries portends a full or partial resolution, allowing you to live with more tranquility and stability. The author of this message wants you to believe in a better future, where your most pressing problems are solved in a way that blows your mind. Believing in the possibility of a change for the better that improves your situation is about it. If you want something spectacular to happen, you have to make sure your mind and heart are ready to accept and incorporate it. Despite all the challenges we face today, it is important to hold on to hope and optimism. Positivity allows you to recognize and appreciate the remarkable transformations that take place once they take place. In times like these, finding solace doesn't necessarily mean a problem-free existence. It also means embracing the serenity and tranquility that accompany that state of affairs. This tranquility is a profound feeling of contentment that remains constant no matter what happens in the outside world. When your concerns are no longer a source of distress, you enter a state of tranquility. It is equally important to be open to the way this insightful exchange will unfold. Surprising bureaucracy or resources can sometimes provide us with the answers we need. If you can maintain an open mind and heart, you will be able to appreciate and benefit from relaxation in whatever form it takes. Being grateful before the promised relief 
even comes along can help set the stage for a wonderful environment that is ready to embrace the benefits that are on the horizon, which is why gratitude is so important throughout this process. In addition to strengthening your bond with the divine, practicing gratitude helps you recognize where those blessings came from. It can be uplifting to share the joy of your relief and the incredible changes in your life with others. People who are likely going through their own struggles can find hope and inspiration in your story, which shows them that there are solutions and good changes that they can make. Rest assured, the message will be absolutely wonderful in the end. By alleviating all your concerns, we can guarantee that you will have access to incredibly pleasant alternatives and provide you with comfort as you anticipate this incredible event. Always keep an open mind, a hopeful heart, and a positive outlook on life. Show appreciation and be ready to talk about what you've been through. Here is a promise that will remind you of how powerful your desires and faith can be and how you can make great changes that will improve your life and bring you joy and contentment. God's message, my precious baby, is a strong command that blends religious readiness with anticipation. Be prepared to receive it with faith and thankfulness. This proclamation suggests that a full-size blessing is on the way and that, in order to fully embrace and appreciate it, one must first prepare themselves spiritually. A nation that actively trains in response to the call to get ready is prepared for what's to come on all levels, including the mental, emotional and spiritual. Being prepared isn't a sitcom. It involves actively engaging your mind and heart, bringing yourself into harmony with an attitude of anticipation and openness, and receiving it with faith, stressing the importance of perception and trust. Belief in the unseen, in the promise of something that has not yet materialized, is what it means to have faith. It's about holding on to the belief that what has been promised will happen, even when the details or the time frame are unclear. As a source of strength and assurance in times of doubt, religion serves as the foundation upon which hope is built. Expressing appreciation for the advantages received and those that will be received in the future is just as important as adding thanks to this message. On the reverse side of the blessing is an expression of gratitude for the thoughtfulness and charity. Expressing gratitude in anticipation of its arrival, fosters a spirit of modesty and gratitude, recognizing that all good things originate from a source beyond one's own control. This openness to religion and thankfulness could include a variety of practices, such as contemplation, meditation, or prayer. You can improve your spiritual connection, tranquilize your emotions, and quiet your mind by engaging in these practices. You can use them as a platform to share your faith and appreciation, count your blessings, and think about the future. For one to be ready to receive, one must also release any fears or uncertainties they may have. Your ability to receive and fully experience benefits can be hindered by doubts and fears respectively. To be more open and receptive, it is necessary to let go of these negative emotions entirely. One must also be open to the many forms that blessings might take in order to be ready to grasp faith and thankfulness. Occasionally, benefits arise from unanticipated procedures or red tape. If you can keep an open mind, you can see the benefits in any form and embrace them. You can incorporate sharing your journey of faith and appreciation into this system as you work to acquire it. Being able to share in your joy can inspire those around you. You can inspire others to prepare for what lies ahead by sharing the faith you are maintaining and the gratitude you are nurturing. Faith, gratitude, and the impending arrival of the message ultimately demand religious and proactive instruction in preparation for a blessing. Praying regularly, developing an attitude of deep gratitude, releasing anxieties and doubts, being receptive to the ways in which blessings will come, and sharing your journey with others are all part of being ready. In addition to preparing you to fully embody the impending blessing, this approach also enhances your religious life and gives you the opportunity to inspire others around you with God's message of love 
and hope. Prepare yourself, my precious toddler, for an onslaught of joy and anticipation that is coming your way in the next 24 hours. This guarantee implies that a large and entirely satisfying transaction is about to emerge in your life, bringing it joy within a very short period of time. This much-anticipated delight is defined by a precise and immediate time frame within the next 24 hours. The sense of immediacy adds a thrilling and pressing quality to the message, prompting you to stay vigilant and open to the pleasant changes that may be on the horizon. If you put yourself in a position to receive a great deal of joy, that joy can be substantial and widespread. This plethora of joy may occur in various bureaucracies. It can manifest as voracious news, a dramatic turn of events, the fulfillment of a lifelong dream, or unquestionably, an extraordinary encounter of happiness and health. To be ready for this joy, you must embrace an attitude of expectancy and openness. The key is to be ready to incorporate accurate matters when they arise and to anticipate them accurately. You can better appreciate and comprehend joy as it comes if you adopt an attitude of anticipation. Creating an environment of appreciation and optimism can also be part of this practice. You can set the tone for more good fortune by being appreciative of what you have. Being great helps you let go of any self-doubt or negativity that might get in the way of enjoying the joy that is about to come your way. This joy, the message says, is a gift from God, the fruit of His favor, so long as you ask for it. A stronger spiritual bond and a more profound appreciation for joy can result from acknowledging this divine beginning. Playing sports that make you happy and uplift your spirit can help you get ready for this joy. Things like going for a walk in the park, pursuing a hobby, or just hanging out with loved ones will fall into this category. If you want to improve your mood and open yourself up to receiving lots of joy, try doing these things. It can be even more rewarding to share your excitement with other people. If you want to spread more joy and positivity in your life, tell your loved ones about your positive outlook and the happiness you're expecting. It is equally important to be open to the form that this joy takes. Every once in a while, happiness arrives out of nowhere. No matter how joy appears in the message over the next day, being adaptable and open will allow you to appreciate it to its fullest. Get ready to experience an overwhelming amount of joy soon. This promise is beautiful and encouraging. Stay open and expectant. Cultivate an area of thankfulness and positivity and engage in entirely joyful sports while you wait for this abundance of joy. Share some of your joy with other people and keep an open mind to the many ways that joy can enter your life. In addition to preparing you to share in the impending joy, this education will enhance your general sense of well-being and strengthen your bond with the divine. For tuning in, I am grateful. If you found this video useful, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. By clicking the bell icon, you can be alerted whenever we upload a new video. Until then, take care, and we'll see you in the next one. God has promised me that I will bestow upon you a great marvel in the coming year, my little one, my beloved one. Remember that today isn't always just another day. It is a special gift, a blank slate for unexpected blessings and marvels as the sun rises and paints the sky with red and orange colors. I am always by your side. So when you leave your home, be ready to take part in the miracles that are about to unfold. Find me, my darling. Can you see the plants that have taken on a more vibrant hue? They may represent the boundless possibilities in life. They might no longer be just plants. As each flower's petals open, they serve as a gentle reminder of the possibility of dazzling new beginnings just around the corner. You never know who you may meet along the way who is willing to offer you words of encouragement or a kind smile. Those aren't just random occurrences. They're my messages to you, sent via compassion-filled hearts. In reality, they are little miracles meant to elevate your spirits and show you how lovely the world can be. Occasionally, difficulties present themselves as opportunities for growth. In the face of adversity, 
remember that there is always room for growth. The qualities of energy and resilience, which may be crucial to your trip, are enhanced when you overcome those obstacles. In the stillness of your day, know that I am at your side, assisting you at every turn. If you take a moment to stare up into the sky, you may see the clouds moving in all kinds of patterns and styles. To find happiness and inspiration in life's little pleasures, that is my method of communicating with you. Frequently, the details that elude our notice hold the key to life's marvels. There may be times when you feel uncertain or on your own. Listen intently to the flutters of your heart as you go through those moments. They are the echoes of my words, reassuring you that you will never be alone. I am there in the peaceful seclusion of your mind, in the gentle caress of a friend's hug, and in the joyful sound of a baby's laughter. As the sun goes down and the stars come out, let them serve as a symbol of the boundless possibilities that lie ahead. You, my precious baby, are a part of this magnificent creation, and every famous person is proof of the wonders that abound in the cosmos. Night is more than simply a time to relax. It's a blank slate for dreams and ambitions. Think about everything that happened today, no matter how little, as you go off to sleep. A miracle, a gift, or a lesson may be found in every second. As you welcome the new day, my little child, keep your heart open to the unexpected. All the benefits and wonders that are in store for you are my way of demonstrating that I am with you every moment of your life. Always keep in mind that I am keeping a close eye on you, so you are never really alone. Be sure to type Amen if you want God's blessings on this journey. The deep message of God's unfaltering help and the astonishing, abrupt benefits of living have been explored. There are gifts and miracles waiting to be found and embraced on a daily basis. Prepare yourself, my darling, for a life full of blessings beyond your wildest dreams as this year progresses. You will be reminded of my unending love and care with each passing day as it brings its own set of gifts, both mundane and extraordinary. Imagine being greeted by the dawn each morning with a sense of eager expectancy, knowing that the day ahead is brimming with potential. Keep in mind there are 1,440 minutes of fresh lives waiting for you to live, love, and enjoy them, and you're already an expert in 24 of them. Each moment is a hidden treasure waiting to be found as you go about your everyday activities. Cherish these moments since they are your gifts. Look for the little miracles. In the midst of life's monotony, there is beauty and joy to be found in the simplest of things, the smile of a stranger, a baby's laughter, or the grandeur of nature. These are my blessings in disguise. Sometimes, serendipitous encounters lead to meaningful friendships, and other times, blessings might pop up out of nowhere. Either a brilliant idea or a challenging situation may teach you perseverance and fortitude when it strikes you out of the blue. All the benefits I've planned for you this year include those times, so soak them up. Let your heart be open to the love that is all around you, whether it's from loved ones you've yet to meet or from friends and acquaintances. Through your encounters, you will experience the depth and breadth of my concern for you in times of difficulty or uncertainty, and every individual you meet is a conduit of my love. Remember that they are benefits. They might provide opportunities for learning, development, and religious enlightenment. You may become more confident and resilient as you conquer these challenges. Then you will be ready to face the future with poise and bravery. Keep an eye out for benefits that might enhance your artwork and hobbies. My present to you is the satisfaction of a job well done, the joy of doing what you love, and the sense of purpose that comes from making a difference for something bigger than yourself. These are your unique abilities and strengths. During these 12 months, may you too experience the pleasure of giving through all of your charitable deeds. By helping other people, you are not only doing the right thing, but you are also reaping the rewards. In the simplicity of a morning, the solitude of a nighttime stroll, or the stillness of a morning sky, there are moments of mirror image that are vital. They help you connect with me, hear my voice, and feel my presence. And don't forget, my precious child, that the greatest blessing of all 
is the gift of existence. The joy of giving is a reflection of my love, a reminder that when we give, we gain even more. Your mere being is a priceless gem, an adventure in learning about and loving one another. Your very existence, with every breath you take, is evidence of my love and my ambitions for you. In order to welcome the new year with a plethora of hope, be sure you do this. You must realize that my advantages are not only one-time presence, but rather an ever-present presence in your life. My darling, there is a gift waiting for you in every moment, no matter how big or small, happy or sad. I will be by your side through all of your life's ups and downs, choices and decisions. My benefits are a symbol of my boundless love for you, which surpasses all limits and brings joy, happiness and fulfillment into your life. All along, this story has been a path toward the fulfillment of God's promise to bless our lives in every way this coming year. As long as the vine, my precious baby, is loved and cared for constantly, every second has the potential to bring joy, growth and discovery. Rest assured, a plethora of advantages are waiting for you as you go into the future. During this joyful and transformative period, your faith and tenacity will bear fruit in the most beautiful ways, increased wealth, exceptional health, and an abundance of pleasure. I am prepared for your unexpected pleasure and genuine affection. Think about it. If you wake up every morning with a positive outlook, you'll be able to share your blessings with others, feel secure in your financial situation, and know that more money is on its way to you, not only in the form of currency, but as a symbol of possibility, security, and ease. With this windfall of cash, you can do what you want and help others around you. Enormous wellness is a component of my strategy for you. This encompasses not just a nation's physical, mental and spiritual health, but also its lack of contamination. Here, you will discover a source of energy for your body, clarity for your mind and tranquility for your soul. Having good health is the bedrock that allows you to enjoy life's joys and persevere through life's challenges. One of the benefits I'm bringing your way is boundless happiness. You will experience this joy intrinsically. It is a profound and everlasting delight that isn't reliant on anything outside of yourself. Your laughter, no matter how subtle, has the power to lift the spirits of people around you, and you may find reasons to smile even in the most mundane of situations. In case joy strikes unexpectedly, be ready. These are the delightful surprises that add excitement and charm to people's lives. A chance meeting that blossoms into a lifetime relationship. A fresh opportunity that reveals possibilities you never knew existed. Or even a simple moment that leaves an indelible mark on your heart are all examples of what I mean. These delights highlight the beauty and unpredictability of life's pleasures. Of all the blessings that are about to come your way, true love may be the most priceless. There are several ways in which this love manifests itself. In committed partnerships, in ties to loved ones, and in the friendships and acquaintances you make on your travels. Your life will be enriched in infinite ways as you travel through life with this love, which is sincere, caring, and profoundly pleasant. You must also be aware that these benefits may arrive in the most unexpected and unusual ways. Keep an open mind and be prepared to receive them, even if they seem like courses or problems at first. Everything that happens is part of a greater scheme for your benefit, and I couldn't agree more. Those advantages aren't just empty promises. They represent my commitment to you. Keep that in mind when you're doubting or struggling. Stay committed to your faith and keep pushing forward fearlessly. Know that I am loving you, guiding you, and supporting you through it all. Embrace the adventure. The journey to this blessing and the end goal, my baby, is just as important as the gifts themselves. This is the path that will lead you to self-discovery, personal growth, and ultimately, your destiny. You are living out a narrative of victory, trust, and heavenly love with each step you take. Just remember to share your good fortune with others as you experience these benefits. You will reap the benefits of your generosity 
and goodwill in the form of improved quality of life for yourself and the people you assist. Lastly, my dear, always remember that my love for you is constant and unfaltering as I adore you. It's far from the basis for benefits like this. My love is always by your side, enveloping, elevating, and grace-filling your life in every pleasant moment, in every love affair, and in every gift of good health and plenty. Therefore, joyfully anticipate the days that will come ahead. In more ways than you may imagine, a life filled with plenty, health, joy, unexpected encounters, and love is on your way. In this story, we have stitched together the many blessings that God has promised, including a life filled with love, health, plenty, and unexpected delight. With the unwavering support of the divine, every aspect of this promise has the potential to drastically alter people's way of life. My darling, there was a period in my life when I felt spiritually distant, aimless, and utterly lost. Despite the challenges I faced, this journey brought me back to a deeper, more meaningful relationship with God. It had been a time of uncertainty and questioning during which the comforting light of religion seemed to fade in my coronary heart. Every morning, I can't shake the sensation of emptiness, as if I had been through an event when something crucial suddenly became absent. The exercises went on, but there was no longer any enthusiasm or purpose. When I did online searches, I would come across people who seemed to have a strong religious background, which made me wonder why I felt so alienated. As the days became weeks, I began to doubt their totality why did God seem so far away to me? Could it have been anything I had done? My faith was put to the test. The more I thought about it, the more I realized that this feeling of separation was a code for turning within and questioning my values and habits. I found that spending more time in a peaceful mirror image helped me better understand and manage my emotions. In search of wisdom, I perused religious and philosophical writings, I felt a twinge of need and a subtle reawakening of the connection I had a few days earlier, but the silence treated me like I couldn't respond, leaving me even more alone. I realized the value of perseverance and faith throughout this period. It dawned on me that a lack of spiritual connection did not mean God had abandoned me. Rather, it was a call to pursue God more fervently in the hopes of rekindling our romance. It was then that I started reaching out to others, telling them about my problems and listening to their stories. Knowing that I wasn't alone in feeling distant and uncertain brought me some solace. These discussions exposed me to fresh perspectives and ideas that allowed me to evaluate my circumstances in a different light on a daily basis. Little things in life, like a kind remark from a friend, the beauty of nature, or a moment of serenity, started to make sense to me as signs of God's presence. They were like gentle lights that led me back to the path of faith. During this period, I also learned about the cost of thankfulness. I began to appreciate my lifestyle for all its merits rather than fixating on what I thought was missing. With this new perspective came a sense of calm and satisfaction, and with it, a heightened awareness of God's love. As I journeyed through this experience, I realized that my connection with God was changing. It was becoming more intimate and genuine. Instead of seeing God as an abstract concept, I saw Him as an integral part of my life, always at my side, providing strength and direction. There were low points when my anxieties and doubts returned, but whenever I resorted to prayer and meditation, I discovered strength and peace in the stillness of my relationship with God. Those rituals were my anchor. They helped me get back in touch with my faith and strengthen my faith. Being a provider to others and aiding people in need is a strength I learned about on this journey. Every time I did something kind for someone, it seemed like a step closer to the divine and it gave my life meaning and happiness. I had a tremendous feeling of reference to God, relying on God, the journey was filthy once again, but it turned out to be life-altering. It instilled in me the values of perseverance, modesty, and faith, 
even when faced with doubt. What I've learned is that faith is about seeking God, even when times become tough, not only when times get easy. Reflecting on my spiritual development, I see that this time of feeling distant was an essential component of it. At that time, people began to embrace a more mature, authentic religion and reject more idealistic, bygone ways of life. In the ordinary, in the little deeds of love and generosity, in the times of solitude and contemplation, I have learned to find God. God had never been far away, as I learned in the end. It turned out that I had strayed, preoccupied with worldly concerns and diversions. However, on this journey, I discovered my way back, re-establishing a relationship with God that was stronger, more profound, and more delightful than before, my beloved child. If you ever feel disconnected from God, remember that it's only a phase of your religious journey, not the end. Recognize that God is always there, ready to embrace you with open arms and embrace the uncertainty that you are seeking with a heart that is open and vulnerable. It delves into the path of spiritual estrangement, a voyage characterized by self-reflection, growth, and finally, a revitalized and more profound allusion to the divine. It serves as a gentle reminder that one's religious beliefs might be better understood and appreciated after experiencing periods of uncertainty and separation. My life has at times seemed incomplete, like a jigsaw puzzle. Seeking solace in another person, I meandered through days consumed by uncertainty. Nevertheless, my meeting with Jesus changed everything. It evolved into a watershed experience that illuminated my life's dark corners and gave me direction. Rather than being a grand public event, the stumble on evolved into a private introspective moment. Although I had heard stories, read texts, and heard about Jesus from others, it wasn't until I became alone with my thoughts that I felt his presence. He seemed to have been waiting for me the whole time, eagerly anticipating the day that I would give my life to Jesus. I located the elusive component. His life tale astonished and amazed me, and I have been seeking his lessons. I was more and more drawn to him as I studied his selflessness, compassion, and unfailing love. Jesus was the hidden gem I had been seeking, and in him I discovered a love that was both natural and all-consuming. His message of love, mercy, and grace transformed into something completely new to me. It gave me strength when I was down and reassured me when I was uncertain. Even in my darkest hours, his words shone like a beacon, illuminating the way. With Christ at the center of my heart, I began to look at the world differently. I realized the importance of seeing people and events through the eyes of compassion and empathy. It seemed like his lessons were gradually transforming me from the inside out. I saw that I was becoming more patient, kind, and forgiving. Jesus also brought about a deep sense of tranquility. As time went on, it evolved into a serenity that went beyond my own experiences, a stillness that accompanied me through the turbulence. No matter what, this artwork serves as a continual reminder of his involvement in my life and a guarantee that he is always by my side. My religion developed in tandem with my friendship with Jesus. I found strength in his promises, optimism in his resurrection, and delight in his love. My faith has evolved into an integral aspect of my identity, rather than just a collection of principles. My trust in Jesus Christ grew into a strength that helped me weather the storms of life and stay firm in the face of adversity. The power of prayer is something else I picked up. My prayer life has evolved beyond a mere routine into a conversation with a trusted friend, a space to share my innermost thoughts and emotions. Praying helped me find peace and direction. It became a safe space where I could be myself, letting go of my worries and finding solace in his love. Every act of compassion and kindness that I did became a mirror of Jesus' love as he led me to serve others with an overflowing heart. A method for me to show my appreciation for the love and style I had received was to serve other people. The path that Jesus traveled was not devoid of difficult circumstances. There were times when I was afraid and doubted myself, 
yet I discovered that Jesus became my unwavering advocate, always prepared to pardon and encourage me. My life became a living testimony to the transformational power of Jesus' love, and his presence became a continual reminder that I had never before. My behavior, speech, and relationships with others have all changed, and these changes have spread outside my inward self. People began to notice the happiness and serenity radiating off of me, which was a direct result of the light that Jesus had lit in my heart. My life's mission and calling were revealed to me in Jesus. His example of selfless love, faith, and service inspired me to do the same. He taught me that there is always an opportunity to shine a light on the world and provide positivity in my own unique manner. The defining moment of my life was my precious baby and my contact with Jesus. A voyage full of love, boom, and boundless possibilities began at that moment. I am no longer alone. God is with me. Jesus is ready to transform your life at every moment you feel lost or unsure. Let him into your life, my little child, and you will find a love that transforms everything. This message may be a warning or a prophecy, but it's really just a friendly reminder to be watchful and receptive to God's blessings and warnings in our lives at all times. It is easy to lose sight of these heavenly prompts and blessings among the chaos of daily life, yet doing so may have the most profoundly positive impact on our lives. Every day try to greet the potential benefits that may come your way with an open mind and heart. Different bureaucracies provide these benefits. Some are as transparent as sunshine, while others are more like muted murmurs. The sound of a baby's giggle, the first light of day, a threat that turns out to be a blessing, or the need to take a moment to appreciate the world around you, are all potential sources of such experiences. This is about finding solace in the small things in life, like the way the leaves rustle in the wind, a stranger's smile, or the comforting scent of a home-cooked meal. These aren't just ordinary things. They are manifestations of God's love and reminders of His presence. God's signs and symptoms often manifest at times of decision-making or uncertainty. They could take the form of an unexpected insight, a wonderful opportunity, or a calmness that washes over you as you weigh your options. Be receptive to these signals. Having faith that God is guiding you correctly necessitates accepting His guidance as genuine. From time to time, the benefits bestowed by God seem like difficulties. These challenging times are opportunities for growth, not punishments. Discovering and strengthening your faith. By gracefully and resiliently encouraging those reviews, you might uncover their hidden advantages. Listening attentively also entails listening with one's heart as well as one's ears. The words of others around you, the stillness of contemplation, or even your own inner thoughts and feelings may carry the message of God. You have to learn to block out the world's distractions so you can hear the voice of God speaking to you every moment. One way to remain connected and alert is through prayer. You may talk to God about your thanks, share your concerns, and ask for guidance at this time. You may get God's benefits and recognize His signs for your lifestyle when you pray. Another strategy to maintain relevance and attentiveness is to reflect on your reviews. Pause for a moment and reflect on the last 24 hours, a week, or even a year. In many cases, you will come to realize that God has been providing for you in ways you were unaware of at the time. Insightful and comforting feelings of reflection could wash over you at the same time. You may also train yourself to pay closer attention by telling others about your experiences. The act of sharing itself often enlightens you to new viewpoints that make God's work in your life more apparent. And hearing the testimonies of others' experiences with God's signs and blessings may encourage and motivate you on your own journey. Be mindful that keeping track of God's occurrences, manifestations, and favor isn't a one-and-done deal. Rather, it's an ongoing practice that demands perseverance, trust, and profound self-awareness. It's about accepting God's active concern for your life, His guidance, His love, and His limitless blessings 
as you go about your daily life. Subscribe to the channel if you have faith in Jesus. When you feel yourself becoming confused or doubtful, just look around you. You may see God's signs and symptoms in the beauty of nature, the generosity of others, the chances that come your way, and even in the difficult times when you have to pull yourself together. The manifestation of these signals is God's method of communicating with you, demonstrating His love and directing your journey. Think about this. God's greatest gift to you is His unending presence in your life, my pricey baby. God is with you no matter what you're going through, whether it's good times or bad, happy or sad. This message isn't a prophecy or a warning, but a gentle reminder to remain receptive to the divine presence in your life. His love is the anchor that keeps you steady, the light that shows you the path, and the wellspring from which all your blessings flow. You will find that your life is enhanced in ways you never thought possible when you open your heart to God's signs, symptoms, and blessings. In this story, we have looked at how important it is to pay attention to the blessings and signals from God and how they might be in the details of our daily lives. Every moment, God is there, leading and enriching our lives with His love and beauty in our lifestyles. It's a voyage of consciousness, thankfulness, and religion. The complexity of our problems and the web of our daily activities ensnare us on a regular basis. When we're going through tough times, it's easy to forget about all the positive things that happen to us. This is only a gentle hint to take a breath, recreate and rejoice in the boundless benefits that often go unrecognized. Come up with a scenario where you get up, get ready, and go head first into your day's tasks. Subtle jewels of beauty and joy lurk inside this habit, just waiting to be discovered. As we hurry through our days, we often neglect the advantages that nature provides, such as the sun's warmth, the coziness of a home, dependability, and appropriate fitness. Bear in mind the individuals that traverse your path, a network of loved ones, friends, co-workers, and even total strangers. Whether brief or extended, every encounter offers the chance to experience the beauty of human connections, connection, and goodwill. Recognizing and appreciating such exchanges may transform mundane encounters into meaningful experiences. Look into the mirror and imagine the nourishing food, refreshing water, and oxygenating air that surround you. You can't maintain your standard of living without these basic needs, which are generally considered a right. Expressing gratitude for these basic but essential aspects of life may help cultivate a greater appreciation for the world around you. Even when faced with challenging circumstances and difficulties, practicing thankfulness might help you focus less on what you don't have and more on the many blessings in your life. Even in the face of adversity, there's always reason to be grateful for things like the capacity for perseverance, the knowledge of loved ones, and the wisdom gained through crossing thresholds. Being able to unwind and enjoy one's spare time is another source of gratitude. The key to a well-balanced life is making time for leisure, hobbies, and relaxation. You may make the most of such little respites and boost your overall happiness and health by practicing gratitude for them. Additional reasons to be thankful include generations and modern technologies that simplify life. Privileges, such as the ability to communicate instantaneously, access information, and experience conveniences that previous generations could not have imagined are worthy of recognition and gratitude. In addition, take pride in your unique set of skills and abilities. Gifts like your skills, expertise, and personality traits allow you to make a difference in the world in your own special way. Acknowledging and valuing your skills may enhance your self-assurance and sense of value when you accomplish goals. Expressing appreciation, no matter how little, may boost your self-esteem. Recognizing your efforts and the help you've gotten along the way is celebrated when you celebrate those successes with a glad heart. Remember to express gratitude for the beauty and marvels of nature. There is much excitement and inspiration in seeing the changing of the seasons, the diversity of landscapes, and the wonders of animals. 
Developing an appreciation for the herbal world might help you feel more connected to the earth and more responsible for its preservation. Gratitude, the last component of a spiritual life, is essential. One of the most important things you can do for your happiness is to be grateful for your faith. Being religious allows you to develop spiritually, and it also gives you reason and calm. Every thread of my precious toddler's life story represents a unique facet of your existence. Together, they form a tapestry of reports. Every day, take a few moments to focus on the blessings in your life, both large and small, and let gratitude bring you joy and satisfaction. Being grateful for the ordinary and the extraordinary, the hard times and the easy times, all add up to a life filled with optimism and contentment. All the blessings in our lives, from the little things to the big things, are here to be appreciated and celebrated, and this story is a good reminder of that. Gratitude has the power to change our perspective, giving a gentle cheerfulness even to the mundane and difficult things that life throws at us. Worries and problems often take center stage in life's maelstrom, obscuring the blessings and chances that God provides. Every now and again, we let ourselves be so engrossed in stressful circumstances that we miss the most amazing things happening all around us. This sermon is a call to take a moment to reflect on how God has blessed us, especially while we are going through tough times. Imagine spending the day dealing with mundane, repetitive tasks. Problems like money, a job, or personal challenges may make us focus on the negative and ignore the positive parts of our lives, even when they are valid. But even in the midst of these difficulties, God is always working to bring good things into our lives. In times of difficulty, it is easy to overlook the benefits of having loved ones nearby who can provide assistance and support. God gives us strength and comfort via these connections so that we know we are not fighting a battle alone. Look for the chances for development that are cloaked in difficult circumstances. There is a lesson and an opportunity to grow in resilience, patience, and knowledge in every tragedy. These aren't only difficulties, they are opportunities for growth and strength that God has given us. Think about the little pleasures in life. A peaceful morning, a wonderful dinner, a moment of laughter, even when we're worried about a lot. Those are God's little reminders that there's good in every day. Hope is a benefit in times of uncertainty. Being hopeful and believing that things will get better is a sign of the power God gives us. This hope shines brightly, leading us even in the darkest of times. Another gift is the capacity to help others less fortunate, even when we ourselves are down and out. Doing good deeds not only helps other people, but it also gives us a feeling of purpose and fulfillment. These deeds provide chances to show how much God loves the earth, as well as the peacefulness and beauty of nature, which may let us forget our problems for a while. The beauty of a blossoming flower, the tranquility of a sunset, or a peaceful stroll are all gifts that let us appreciate the miracle of Advent and take our minds off our problems. Although they may be taxing at times, the paintings we create on a daily basis really help us and allow us to have a positive impact on the world around us. It is possible that God has a purpose for every one of us and that our jobs provide us with opportunities to put our skills to good use. A personal relationship with God may be established through times of quiet reflection and prayer. By engaging in these routines, we are able to release our stress, seek direction in order to find tranquility. The capacity to establish a connection with the divine is a tremendous boon, bringing us solace and understanding. Lastly, remember that every breath you take is a sign of goodness. Every facet of existence, in all its complexity and mystery, is a blessing. Using God to our greatest potential means taking advantage of each new day as a chance to learn, develop, and experience more of life. Our concerns and hardships are an indisputable aspect of life, my little baby, but they do not constitute our whole existence. The blessings and opportunities that God has for us are intricately woven into our path. Finding joy, strength, and appreciation in the face of life's challenges is possible 
when we shift our attention from our problems to those benefits. Even when we're overwhelmed by worries and hardships, it's a gentle reminder to appreciate the good things that happen to us. It is a call to change our perspective, see the good amid challenging times, and make the most of the blessings that God consistently showers upon us. God's unending mercy has bestowed this message upon us as a reminder that He is ever vigilantly watching over us and providing us with excellent information, even though we may feel overwhelmed or alone at times due to the uncertainties and problems that arise. Lord, I appeal to you for healing. Every day, this reminder serves as a guiding light, bringing hope and the assurance of His everlasting care and love. With a loving heart and a watchful eye, God watches over us. His presence, which is like a gentle yet potent force, guides us through the difficulties and victories of life. This constant watchfulness demonstrates His steadfast dedication to ensuring our pleasure and well-being. Even in the most mundane parts of our existence, we may find signs of God's presence. His great concern for the area and its residents is evident in the beauty of nature, the natural rhythms of the seasons, and the dawn that welcomes us each morning. Oftentimes, God's precise guidance comes in the form of unanticipated benefits, a friend's encouraging words, a fleeting moment of happiness, or a chance for growth. God uses all of these ways to show His love and reassure His people that He is with them when they are down and out, just when they need Him most. Sometimes, the greatest news is the ability to keep going even when it seems like there's no way out, or it's a sudden insight that sheds light on a previously opaque situation. None of this is random. Rather, it is evidence of God's active participation in our lives. The helpfulness, wisdom, and acts of compassion of other people are also ways that God communicates with us. These exchanges between people are often God's method of guiding and comforting them. They may also serve as reminders that God uses every one of us to be a light and a love to those around us. God is watching over us, even when we don't understand or feel confident. When we seek His help, He patiently waits because He knows how hard it is. While it may take Him a little while to respond or provide the specific details we need, we can generally count on Him to do so. An excellent illustration of God's exact knowledge is the Gospel message itself. A story of love, sacrifice and redemption, it offers inspiration and a way to achieve success in ways that don't include religion. This message serves as a continual reminder of God's kindness and love, and it is the foundation of our faith. Praying and looking into a mirror together can let us feel God's presence more strongly. On these occasions, we may hear His voice, experience His comfort, and get the most valuable knowledge He has to provide. When we pray, it's not enough to only talk to God. We must also listen to Him. As time goes on, we see changes and growth, which are signs of God's wonderful knowledge. All of the challenges we face, the knowledge we acquire, and the maturity we develop are components of His plan for our development. These upgrades are His method of preparing us for the benefits and responsibilities He has planned for us. Finally, the assurance of a hereafter and redemption is among the finest and most important pieces of knowledge there is. As we go through life here on earth, may we always keep in mind that our trials and tribulations are all part of a greater divine design. No matter how good or bad things go, my little child knows that God's eye on him and the best information he gives are always there to provide strength and pleasure. We are never alone. God's unending compassion is always there to lead, love, and reassure us. Incorporate this lesson into your life and let it bring you joy and contentment. The concept that God is always looking over us and delivering us genuine information is explored, which is both soothing and optimistic. A constant source of comfort and encouragement, it serves as a constant reminder of His love, His care, and the many ways He guides and cares for us, even in the darkest of times. God skillfully wove types of advantage and opportunity into the vast fabric of life, my little child, so that we may enjoy all the excellent things He's planned for us. He wants us to be open to 
and aware of those advantages. For our hearts and minds to be receptive to God's benefits, we must be in touch with His presence. Belief begins today so that you may learn about and benefit from God's benefits. This kind of thinking changes the way we see the world and the stories inside it. The beauty of the sunrise, the warmth of a loved one's smile, the risks of artistic expression, all of these are signs of God's grace at work in our lives. Blessings from God may take many shapes and sizes. Some are obvious, while others are more subtle. The sound of children laughing, the comfort of a home that is warm and welcoming, and the satisfaction of a job well done are all simple but significant pleasures that enrich our lives. It helps one feel thankful and satisfied even when faced with difficult circumstances. Although we may not see the fruits of God's blessings in this trial, it is often amid adversity that we experience growth, fortitude, and a deepening of our faith. In the end, these hardships make us stronger, more empathetic, and more knowledgeable and resourceful. People we meet, whether they be friends who advise us, strangers who help us, or mentors who teach us the way, are another way God blesses us. By means of these connections, God shows His concern and love. Knowing the significance of these connections makes us more appreciative of the way a higher power directs our lives. Among God's great benefits are opportunities for private and non-secular booms. As we experience new joys, gain new information, and grow in our own character, God enhances our journey. If we are open to such chances, we may use our skills and fulfill God's purpose for our lives. An endless manifestation of God's advantages may be found in nature, with all its grandeur and intricacy. Reminders of God's creativity and care for His introduction may be seen in the changing seasons, the various types of plants and fauna, and the rhythms of the natural world. We are more in tune with the divine and life's fundamental principles when we take the time to appreciate nature. During times of quiet reflection and prayer, we find ourselves in close proximity to God. The advantages of taking the time to contemplate and interact with others include calm, clarity, and a sense of community. They are a beautiful reminder of God's unending concern for us and His desire to be involved in every detail of our lives. The ability to serve and give back to others is a gift that improves not only the lives of the people we assist, but also our own character as we show God's love to the world. Giving brings us wealth, while helping others brings us joy and fulfillment. God has blessed us, even in the midst of our most trying times. Problems teach us to be persistent, to believe, and to have faith. Conquering these challenges strengthens our faith and our character. In the midst of our pain, they teach us to see God's plan for the future. If you need this, just type 333. Living in the here and now is ultimately the greatest gift. You are a living testimony to God's love and an opportunity to make a difference in the world with every breath you take and every beat of your heart. To really appreciate God's gifts, one must treasure life in all its facets. Finally, a window of opportunity and joy opens up when my precious baby is open and aware of God's benefits. Because of this, our outlook has changed and we are able to see and appreciate the many genuine blessings that God has planned for us. Let the abundance of God's riches enrich your life as you embrace each day with an open heart. The text highlights the significance of being aware of and open to the blessings that God gives us in many ways. From the little pleasures to the complex trials, it is a term to help us comprehend and acknowledge the divine hand in everything that we do. The good things in our lives are all part of God's wonderful design. You are entering a new season of freedom, wealth, and plenty, my little child, as you stand on the edge of this new part of your life. There has been a major change throughout this time. In this future, the hardships of the past pave the way for a future full of opportunities and perks. Imagine starting each day with a fresh feeling of independence. This liberation is not limited to geographical locations or relocations, but encompasses the release of one's thoughts and soul as well. It is about embracing a life free from past anxieties, uncertainties, 
and limitations and being one's authentic self, unfettered and burdened. In this new season, you will find prosperity. It will manifest in many parts of your life, including your career, your finances, and your personal accomplishments. Opportunities will present themselves that lead to further success, and your efforts can end up paying off. This abundance is a sign of God's favor and a token of appreciation for your faith and determination. During this new stage of your relationship's richness, abundance is also a vital trait. You will find plenty of love, tranquility and success in addition to material goods as a result of the thoroughness of your evaluations and the enjoyment of your daily lives. During this season, your whole being may reflect the love and giving of God. You'll feel more connected to the people in your life. New connections will flourish, existing ones will strengthen, and friendships will flourish. Those relationships are a manifestation of the love and support that God is pouring into your life. This is the perfect time of year to focus on your health and fitness. If you're lucky, you could feel revitalized physically, mentally, and spiritually. You can enjoy life's joys and tackle life's challenges with energy and resilience when you're in this state of holistic health, which is a form of wealth and plenty. New levels of accomplishment and enjoyment await you. My benefits and healing can turn around any negative thing that has happened to you and your loved ones. This vow demonstrates both my unwavering devotion to you and those closest to you, as well as my ability to change the situation. My faith in God is unwavering. Think of every bad thing that has happened as a knot that has been bound. You can almost feel the knots gradually coming undone. In your life, I am simplifying things, relieving stress, and paving the way for blessings and healing in the areas where you have had financial difficulties. Imagine a change for the better when the hardships and lack you've endured are replaced with plenty and supply. With this change, convenience is no longer the top priority. In fact, it will pave the way for unprecedented growth and generosity. Keep an eye out as I strive to mend and repair any broken connections in your life. Possible outcomes include the resolution of misunderstandings, the extension of forgiveness, and the reigniting of love. People may find relief from their mental, emotional, and physical ailments when they mend broken relationships, which in turn provide them pleasure and aid in their overall wellness. This repair serves as a reminder of my kindness while also demonstrating my sincere concern for your well-being. Prepare for a high-quality transformation in the face of challenging circumstances in your career or academic pursuits. Even seemingly insurmountable obstacles may be overcome and doors that looked closed might really open. If you put in the time and effort, and if you have my approval, you will succeed in your non-secular endeavors. I pray that I may remove the obstacles that have been holding you back from fully trusting in me, strengthen our bond, and help you comprehend my love and purpose for your life. If you want to reap rewards for your family and friends, this spiritual renewal is essential. You may see the change in their lives as their wishes are granted, their pain alleviated, and their future assured. You may also see my benefits and recovery. In the neighborhood where you live, it will serve as evidence of my loyalty and kindness. A blessing will inspire hope and trust in others, and the changes in your life may impact your story of reversal in a domino effect. During this period of blessing and reversal, your very being will serve as an example of my love and strength to everyone around you. Permit thanks to permeate your words and deeds, have a heart full of gratitude, and see every change as a gift from me. Being grateful will keep you from becoming proud and will allow you to see the completeness of my work in your life. Calculate the benefit you get as a percentage of helping other people. In addition to extending my love and care, you also increase the benefits in your daily life. More abundance may be yours just by being generous. Finally, remember that these setbacks and opportunities are all part of my grand design for your life. They are not here only to ease your suffering. They are stepping stones to something bigger. Even if my timing and techniques are outside of your area of expertise, 
please give them some thought. The purpose of my pricey toddler was to examine every dark chapter of your life, seize my blessings, and repair them so that you and your loved ones might live happily ever after. This time of change is a testament to my unending love and energy for you, so welcome it with open arms and a sense of expectancy. In doing so, it alludes to the hope that the protagonist and their loved ones may turn around their unfortunate circumstances for the better. It depicts a journey of self-discovery that emphasizes the power of faith, thankfulness and charity in reaping and sharing blessings. You will be recognized for your unique set of abilities which will open doors to rewarding experiences. Now is the moment to confidently go for your dreams. The freedom you feel might be more than just physical when you know that God's favor is upon you. You will have a better understanding of your spiritual path, more details on your beliefs, and a stronger connection to the divine. You will be led, inspired, and provided with a foundation for happiness and joy by this non-secular freedom. Even when there is plenty around you, think about practicing gratitude. Recognizing and being grateful for the good things in your life increases their impact and makes room in your heart for more good things to come. Expressing gratitude helps you stay connected to the source of all benefits, God, and keeps you rooted. Giving and sharing are other hallmarks of this season. Your good fortune is not a personal gift. Rather, it is a blessing that is supposed to be shared. As you give back, you enhance the benefits you've received and contribute to the virtuous cycle of love and generosity. Last but not least, know that this new season is a component of God's purpose for your life. It is evidence of His fidelity and the fulfillment of His promises. Embrace this season with an attitude of openness and readiness, prepared to receive all the wonderful things God has in store for you. Finally, my precious little one, as you enter this time of liberty, wealth and plenty, may you do it with delight and expectation. During that period, you will undergo a metamorphosis and experience the abundant benefits of God. Come to terms with His time and His intentions and then integrate them so that you may reap the rewards that are waiting for you. The tale presents a positive and inspiring message about entering a new era of abundant, free and prosperous existence. As you enter a new chapter in your life, my precious toddler, it serves as a constant reminder of God's gifts and the hope of a future filled with happiness, growth and success in many areas of life. Welcome to this encouraging reality. A new dawn has sprung and the darkest hours are behind us. After overcoming the obstacles you faced, you are now entering a period of healing, desire and new opportunities. The first light of morning gently dispels the blackness of night. This next chapter in your life promises clarity, comfort and a new perspective, much like the gentle warmth of the morning light. The dark times are passing and a better future is on the horizon. With the dawn of a new day comes a fresh power inside you. You have become stronger as a result of your previous hardships, not weaker. Through the wisdom you've received from your tales, you're becoming more robust, capable and prepared. This age heralds a resurgence of joy and fervor that while previously contributing to your happiness, were thought to have been lost in the gloom of difficult times, but may again radiate with fresh radiance. Your passions, aspirations and interests are reawakening, ready to be embraced with renewed energy. A sense of calmness is also part of the new day. A calmness that fills your whole being is replacing the burden of your concerns and anxiety. There is always a period of quiet after a storm, and this calmness is a gift from God. Relationships that were neglected or strained throughout the tough times will start to mend and thrive and you'll discover new ones. Perhaps even new connections will emerge, enriching your life with fresh perspectives and energy. Possibilities for satisfaction that were previously out of reach may suddenly become within your grasp, and your efforts may be rewarded with extraordinary outcomes in both your professional and personal pursuits. It is the perfect moment to make plans for the future 
and confidently pursue them. A period is also included in the new sunrise. Your faith, which may have been tested before, will now become more robust and deep as a result of your non-secular awakening. Your faith may take on more significance and your relationship with God may become closer and more fulfilling. In this part, health and fitness will take on new relevance. You'll be more in touch with your physical and mental needs and you'll take better care of yourself. An important part of starting the year off right is this recommitment to fitness. Those lessons you learned on the tough days will serve as beacons of hope. They may even serve as reminders of how resilient you are. Those experiences have taught you that you can overcome obstacles and become stronger as a result. Finally, remember to welcome this new day with appreciation as you go on. Appreciate the path that brought you here, the lessons you've learned, and the hope for what's to come. Gratitude will improve your experience of this new beginning by enhancing your desire and optimism. Finally, when you welcome this new day with open arms, my darling child, do this. Embrace the multitude of benefits that lie ahead with an optimistic and open mind, leaving aside the hardships of the past. Embrace the journey, have faith in your power, and seize the chances that arise with each new day. This story beautifully portrays the feeling of moving on from a challenging period to a bright start. Brighter days, stronger relationships, and a fresh sense of purpose are promised in this message of optimism, resilience, and regeneration, which encourages a dazzling new beginning. My precious child, I can turn your financial situation around so that you have an abundance of love, cash, and advantages, God says in this video. You are not alone if you think of God's plan for your life as an adventure, my little child. Rest assured, I will never leave your side, and I will provide for your every need in ways beyond your wildest imagination. May it be so. This guarantee is proof of God's limitless love and protection for you, in case you need His advantages. You are always embraced by my caring, and I want you to know that. Envision yourself exploring the universe on foot while accompanied by a celestial protector, a protective force that prevents you from harm in the face of the challenges you face. Not only does this protection keep harm at bay, but it also shows that I am with you, which is a great comfort when you are feeling overwhelmed. Think about how I'm caring for you in ways that are incomprehensible to humans. My techniques transcend the realm of the visible and familiar using supernatural means. I work in the background of your life, arranging events and guiding your courses so that they are all for your benefit. This includes your physical needs, ensuring your physical and mental safety, as well as attending to your spiritual and non-material needs. I am committed to providing unfaltering support, bringing tranquility to your thoughts and nourishing your spirit in all areas of your life. When you feel lost and confused, when you don't know what the future holds, know that my heavenly protection is shining a light on you and leading you in the right route. You will be guided to make choices that are in line with your highest appropriate by following my guidance. The unexpected gifts and wonders that come into your life are evidence of my concern. I adore you, and they aren't just random occurrences. They could serve as visual cues that I am always involved in your life, influencing your relationship decisions. I will bring individuals into your lives who will support, assist, and elevate you. You will see my hand in it. My intention in creating those bonds is for them to enhance your path and provide solace and affection when you feel like giving up. You may find solace and strength in my shield, and it will give you the fortitude to stand up again and again, a spirit of self-forgiveness and the strength to keep moving forward. For me, being safe is about more than simply keeping you from harm. It's also about giving you the strength to overcome obstacles. Additionally, I am taking care of you via the wisdom and understanding you acquire from the tales of life. Everything you've learned and understood thus far is a part of my mystical guidance, and I want you to be supernaturally prepared to face the challenges of life head-on in everything that you do. As a caring person, I will steer you toward opportunities and achievements 
that are a good fit for your skills and interests. To ensure that your journey is in harmony with my purpose for you, my heavenly messenger unlocks doors that lead to success and logic. You will experience my presence most strongly when you are alone with God and praying. During these holy moments, my love and calm will surround you, bolstering your faith and increasing your reliance on me. Finally, remember that my heavenly shield is an expression of my boundless love for you. In every aspect of your life, you are embraced, nurtured, and cherished, no matter what challenges you encounter. My heavenly protection and care are always with you, and I am there in all your joys and endeavors. At the end of the day, my dear child, you may trust in my miraculous methods and go confidently through life because you know that you are under my heavenly care. Have faith in my assurances and rest easy, knowing that I am always at your side, providing for you in many ways. Reassurance and solace may be found in the promise of God's heavenly care and supernatural protection, as can be found in past imagining. It promotes trust and faith in the midst of life's difficult circumstances and unknowns by serving as a reminder of the incalculable acts of kindness and support that permeate all parts of it. I am the God who can do anything, and you will come to recognize this at some point in your journey of faith and life. At this realization, your understanding of my nature and strength takes a dramatic change for the better. Think about what it would be like to live your life fully conscious that the God who created the mountains, filled the seas, and painted the sky is also the God who watches over you with boundless care and energy. This knowledge offers a sense of wonder, modesty, and great comfort. The natural wonders, the precise changing of the seasons, the nocturnal illumination of the stars, and the integral role played by every living thing in the symphony of existence are all manifestations of my omnipotence. Those may be manifestations of my majesty's electricity, not only natural occurrences, from healing the sick to splitting oceans, from bringing manna to the desolate, and from raising the dead, you will find evidence of my power to perform the impossible in the historical and contemporary recollections of faith. Rather from being just artifacts of a bygone era, these bills serve as constant reminders of my inherent stability. This insight might also emerge from your own narratives. There may be times when you discover a strength that surpasses your own inner calm in the face of chaos and a sense of direction when you feel completely lost. Those studies are proof that I am a master at depicting your life in prayer. You could see how I can change things around as you tell me your deepest desires and worst fears. Approaches that show my omnipotence and perfect timing may be accessible, but solutions won't always arrive in the manner you expect. You will see my influence in the way I change lives, and not just yours. A God who can intervene in the course of history and in the events of the present is at work when you and others around you see shattered lives healed. Lost individuals found their way home and relationships renewed. My hand is probably at work here. Neither time nor human understanding can thwart my schemes. I need a story that will last for decades and inspire people to care for each other since I'm running out of them. My power, my capacity to create and discover, and my expertise that the world is a part of the divine picture in which you are formed may be seen even in the sphere of human ingenuity, creativity, and discovery. Your remarkable progress is proof of the boundless potential I have discovered inside you. Whenever you feel unsure or doubtful about my abilities to step in, remember the promises I made in my statement. Words cannot express the depth of my commitments. They are pledges supported by the sum of my love and energy. I am all-powerful, and your journey through religion may be an ongoing revelation of this. More of my strength and personality will be shown at each stage. My ability to function in ways that may be incomprehensible to humans will pique your attention. Finally, keep in mind that understanding my omnipotence is about more than just seeing my energy in action. It's about understanding the depths of my love for you. Knowing that the God who can do all things also loves you completely is the key to keeping your wonderful hobbies 
at the forefront of my mind when I exercise my electricity. Finally, my precious child, may your faith, desire and love be strengthened by the realization that I am the God who can accomplish all things. My electricity is real, so trust me. Believe what I say and take comfort in the fact that I can make your dreams come true. In many parts of life and religion, this highlights the reality of God's omnipotence. Knowing that nothing is impossible for God gives us strength and comfort, and it's an encouragement to understand and agree with God's boundless power and loving nature. In whatever that you do, my precious child, always keep in mind that I am a kind and gracious deity who loves you without condition and who is ever present in your lives. This insight is the driving force of faith and will provide you strength and comfort no matter what challenges you face. Grace is a gift that is freely given, not because of anything you have done, but simply because of who I am. It is a subtle but powerful pressure. My grace is like a calming bomb. It heals the scars of your history, gives you strength in the here and now, and gives you faith in what's to come. A hurricane shelter is like my mercy. It's a place where you may find refuge from life's storms. You will find kindness and understanding for your flaws and hardships in my mercy. My kindness is fresh, you remember. My love for you remains firm, and every dawn serves as a constant reminder of that. At my core is the idea of unconditional love. Love like this isn't conditional on your actions or identity. Rather, it stems from the simple fact that you are mine. This love will be there for you through thick and thin, cheering you on in your victories and consoling you when you fall. My grace, mercy and love are always gifts. They are not conditional on your perfection, but freely offered to you as a guarantee of your inherent value and worth. Whenever you feel unworthy, alone or confused, remember that these things are not conditions but gifts. If you're in need of this, know that the possibilities and benefits that come your way are expressions of my grace. These aren't tokens of appreciation for good conduct, but rather manifestations of my desire to see your success and happiness. Recognize these favors as manifestations of my grace and accept them with thankfulness and modesty. When you mess up, I'm merciful because I offer you another opportunity and forgive you. My hand has become larger and I no longer turn away in dismay. Instead, I extend it and I invite you to rise above your circumstances and start again with the help of my forgiveness and kindness. Even in the mundane parts of life, like soaking up some sun, laughing with loved ones, or just taking a time to yourself, you can feel my unwavering love. In all your interactions with other people, you will feel my love enveloping and supporting you. Possibilities to feel and share my love, mercy and grace will present themselves to you. Serve as a conduit for those heavenly gifts by sharing knowledge, forgiveness and unconditional love with individuals in your life. Through the ups and downs of our shared lives, you become more like me and our bond becomes stronger. Your resources of strength and resilience are compassion and mercy. They give you the courage to confront challenges head on. I want you to know that you are not alone and that I hope your spiritual journey continues to grow. Your trust rests on those heavenly qualities and they serve as a constant reminder that our relationship isn't founded on religious rights or formal regulations. My darling, as you go through life, hold on to those truths close to your heart. They are based on a deep secret relationship that is based on grace, mercy and love. With every step, endeavor and delight, know that my grace is plenty, my compassion is a haven and my love for you is unending and unconditional. Keep in mind that I am with you, that I love you, and that I am extending my compassion and kindness to you. At the end of the day, you should always keep in mind that you are beloved by a kind and gracious deity who loves you no matter what. This is a truth that you should welcome, bask in, and let illuminate your path. Grace, compassion, and God's unending love are profoundly shown in this story. Embracing these heavenly traits is a constant reminder that God is with us, providing strength, hope, and consolation no matter what. It is essential 
that you hold on to your faith, pray constantly, and declare my word, my precious child, as you travel through life. In the midst of life's ever-shifting tides, these religious practices serve as anchors, providing stability and direction. They are the tools I have given you to navigate through both peaceful and turbulent seas. Your non-secular existence is built around your concept, which is a profound belief in your heart that I am always with you, guiding and loving you. This idea is more than just a theoretical agreement. It's an integral part of your daily life. It's a conviction that, no matter what, I'm always working things out according to your suitable prayers. These are the kinds of talks where you may share your deepest hopes, deepest worries, and deepest expressions of appreciation. You discover peace, direction, and ease when you pray. Relax in my company and let go of your worries at this moment. Everything that concerns you is important to me, so please know that no prayer is ever too little or unimportant. My words' proclamations serve as powerful confirmations of your faith. You bring your thoughts and actions into harmony with my will when you utter my sentence. Your reality will be shaped and your faith will be strengthened by those statements. They are more than just recitals. They are a reminder of my promises and your identity in me. Keeping your faith strong will guide you through times of trial and tribulation, reminding you that my intentions for you are greater than anything you could ever encounter. An effective weapon against despair and terror, your idea will keep you firmly planted in my reality. You have shown your dependence on me via your prayers in times of joy and in times of need. Your prayers reflect your humility and the knowledge that you are not traveling this path alone in prayer. You show me that I am important and respected by including me in all aspects of your life. The impact on your outlook is a direct result of my promise being kept. When you speak your truth, your perspective changes from chaos to calm, from vulnerability to strength, and from uncertainty to understanding. A light at your feet and a beacon on your path, my word will show you the route you should go. Beliefs, prayers and statements become sources of support and proposal in your connections with others. They make it possible for you to spread my love and charisma to everyone around you. When you speak about your faith, you provide hope and kindness to a world that can be so bleak and unforgiving when it comes to your personal and spiritual growth. These routines are essential because they help you grow spiritually, improve your relationships, and learn more about the natural world. Your sensitivity to my voice and harmony with my purpose in your lives will expand in proportion to your faith, prayer, and testimony. These non-secular practices provide the strength to keep going when things get tough. They serve as a gentle reminder that dating is more important than any one event you may have attended. No matter what obstacle you face, you can always count on my unwavering support to help you triumph. Lastly, keep in mind that holding on to your faith is more of a journey than a final destination. It's an ongoing opportunity to learn, develop, and have faith. No matter what stage of life you're in, those practices will always be there to lead you closer to me and help you achieve your destiny. Ultimately, my precious darling, continue to uphold your principles, pray constantly, and proclaim my word. You may rely on them as a foundation for your faith, a source of strength, and a beacon of light. All the tools you need to face life's challenges head on with poise and confidence are there. A person's spiritual journey is not complete without the three essential activities emphasized in this story. Maintaining belief, praying effectively, and proclaiming God's message. Their provision as sources of vitality, direction, and change aids in overcoming the challenges of daily life and growing in one's faith and skill set. You are one of my cherished children, and I have no doubt that you will encounter miraculous events on your life's journey. My affection and the wonderful ideas I have for your future are symbolized by this future. In the middle of the ordinary, you will encounter the extraordinary. That much is certain. Think of your life as a path dotted with unexpected marvels. These marvels don't always have a huge impact, but they may be rather meaningful when they do. 
They are, in essence, instances when something really heavenly intervenes in the ordinary flow of life, changing perspectives and inspiring wonder and delight. You might find these miraculous events in the most unexpected places, a chance meeting that leads to a friendship that lasts a lifetime, a word said at the perfect time that makes everything clear and easy, a chance opportunity that materializes seemingly out of nowhere, altering your life's trajectory when you're facing a challenge or feeling overwhelmed by the weight of your circumstances, or a sudden revelation that changes your perspective. I'm constantly watching over you, arranging events in ways you may not immediately comprehend, but in the end, they reflect my care and compassion for you in your interactions with others. Those miracles are proof of my presence in your lives. Words of understanding, deeds of love, and actions of compassion may work wonders. These are planned occasions when my love is validated via human ties. They are not accidents. Those miraculous occurrences are often made possible by your faith and prayers. Even though I may not answer your prayers right away, know that I am working on creating surprises so that you may feel my love and energy pouring into your lives. Every day, nature amazes us with its beauty. Everything from the dawn's vibrant hues that paint the sky to the intricate pattern of a flower to the night sky's vastness is a manifestation of the wondrous world I've made for you to wonder at and enjoy. Amidst all the hustle and bustle of life, you may find a miracle of serenity and understanding when you take time to contemplate and be alone with yourself. These peaceful times are like miracles. They give you the strength and serenity to face any challenges you face, no matter how ordinary or banal they may seem. Keep your senses sharp in anticipation of these miraculous developments. The happiness and amazement you experience on a daily basis are gifts from me meant to serve as constant reminders of my love and support as you embark on your journey of self-discovery. Revelations, advances in knowledge, or unexpected insights can take the form of miracles. Exceptional knowledge and insight may be conveyed through the ordinary at these moments. Last but not least, remember that my love for you is a miracle in and of itself. Unconditional love is eternal love since it does not change. In this love, you will discover the strength to face adversity head on, the courage to follow your heart, and the comfort to know that you are not alone. Embrace the future and be amazed by the wonders that await you, my darling child. Embrace life's surprises with an open mind and a sense of wonder, prepared to bask in the beauty of my paintings. Those wonders are my gifts to you. They are manifestations of my affection and keepsakes from the wonderful journey I have planned for you. God is on my side. It vividly illustrates a life full of miraculous twists and turns and embodies the concept of being doomed to experience them. It serves as a gentle reminder of God's love and active presence in our lives, as well as the great tales that may be found in both the little and big events that lie ahead this week. You may expect your budget to grow every day, which will provide enough for everyone in your family, even your grandkids. I am aware of your desires and aspirations, and this blessing is a sign of my supply and care. God is on my side. Think of each day of the week as a chance to strike a better financial balance and expand your business. I am deeply committed to supporting you and your family, and this is not a passing blessing. It is a continuous boom. On Monday, you could find out about an unexpected way to fix your money problems. It might be anything from a novel pursuit to a lucrative investment to a groundbreaking idea that blossoms into a worthwhile enterprise. This potential is my main way of showing you how much wealth I am bringing into your life. A long-standing economic problem may finally find an answer on Tuesday. You can likely get out of that burdensome debt, or you may settle that financial disagreement for what you desire. This week, you'll see an increase in your faith and appreciation, as well as your finances. During this week of financial development, may your confidence in my supply be strengthened and your thanks be deepened with every monetary benefit. Always remember to help those less fortunate. Being generous mirrors my character and opens doors to ongoing rewards, which in turn unlock even more plenty. 
you may want to take stock of your actual provision this week as well. Despite the significance of knowledge and hard labor, know that I am the source of all gifts, even financial ones. Because there is a lot to do this week, make sure you give some thought to the changes that have occurred. Having more money isn't necessarily about having more stuff. It's about having a physical representation of my love and commitment. Finally, may this week's financial blessings serve as a springboard for your future. They are a guarantee of what is possible when you think about my assistance. May it serve as a reminder that I am your issuer now, tomorrow, and forevermore, and to continue walking in faith, stewardship, and charity. Finally, my pricey offspring accomplished this with anticipation and trust. As you said earlier this week, prepare yourself to see a daily growth in your wealth, a boon that will benefit not only you, but also your loved ones and generations to come. Be good stewards of the blessings I provide you by including this plenty with thankfulness and making good use of it. The tale captures the essence of a week filled with chances, resolves and benefits as it depicts a full-size budget boom. As Christians, we should take heart in the fact that God provides for our needs, that we should be good stewards and generous, and that our financial blessings have an impact on our families and the generations to come. In your theological armory, you now have the power of your words, which I have given you. In battle and in managing life's difficult circumstances, this talent is a crucial tool. Your words have immense power, being able to shape both your reality and the non-secular universe. To reduce negativity, uncertainty, and fear, believe your statements as a sharp and accurate sword. This sword will protect you from the attacks of your opponent, denouncing falsehoods and promoting religious values despite their prevalence. Your every utterance has the potential to be a religious declaration, an affirmation of your belief, or a proclamation of my promises. Dear God, I adore you. Claim my word and you will be aligned with my will. This will strengthen your religion and reduce the power of the adversary. The power to raise and heal in times of sadness is in your words. Even in the darkest of circumstances, words of desire and encouragement spoken aloud may shine a light. When you pray these words, you are not just expressing optimism. You are engaging in non-secular combat against the discouragement and despair that the devil wants to sow. You may share your deepest hopes, deepest worries, and deepest expressions of appreciation with me via the words you choose to use. You could find courage, wisdom, and tranquility in this spiritual dialogue. You have the capacity to bring about spiritual exchange via your prayers, and the words you choose to connect with others have the same impact. One way to use this power for good is to advocate for lifestyle changes and encourage those around you to do the same. By doing so, you fight back against the devil's efforts to cause you misery, suffering, and despair. An excellent weapon in spiritual combat is your profession of faith, particularly when you are doubtful or going through a struggle. By reiterating your commitment to me and rejecting the deception of my adversary, you are reiterating your faith as you declare it. In order to shield you from the uncertainties and anxieties that want to discredit your faith, I am making this confession. The trust in worship and the promise of recompense make your words a hymn of triumph. In these times of worship, a valid that scares the enemy's worship is more than simply music or a ritual. It is an announcement of my dominion and your agreement with my might. Then declare your triumph over me. While the adversary uses language to discourage and mislead, you disarm them by countering their falsehoods with the reality of my phrase. The truth is an unfailing weapon, a light that destroys all traces of dishonesty. My kindness and fidelity may be attested to by your words as well. The testimonies are all accounts of triumph, tales that inspire trust in one another and foil the schemes of the adversary because they show how I have worked in your life and because they encourage others to think about me, your testimonies have an impact. Never forget that the power of your words lies not in their eloquence or loudness, but in the truth and conviction they convey. Pray with all your heart, knowing that the power I've given you 
via your words will guide you in everything that you do. Keep in mind the language you use. Instead of bringing gloom, use sentences that provide light and encourage the inclination to tear down. In order to have a beneficial effect on the world around you, your words must reflect my love, grace, and realism. Finally, may my words serve as a foundation for your words. Your statements will be more in line with my desires the more you immerse yourself in the scriptures. You may find the words of power, desire, and lifestyle in the Bible, which serves as your guide. To sum up, my pricey kid, your words are a powerful weapon. Use them to fight the adversary, to bear witness to my love and power via your words, and to bring healing and desire. Declare your faith. Spectacular electrical power is at your fingertips. As a gift from me to you, use it with precision and devotion. Conscious and religion-filled speech is an important part of religious lifestyles and warfare, and this highlights the power of words as a non-secular weapon in Christian lifestyles. It emphasizes the ability of phrases to influence truth, fight spiritual negativity, and align with God's will. Your words have immense power and the ability to bring good fortune and triumph into your life, my little baby. That is an undeniable fact. What you say contains more than just letters and sounds. It has the power to shape your facts and influence the world at large. Picture yourself planting a seed with every word you utter. Words that are well-crafted sow the seeds of growth and prosperity, while words that are horrible and harmful sow the seeds of devastation and suffering. The words you use to express yourself have the power to grow and change lives. So be careful of the seeds you sow. Words may mend broken hearts and inspire hope. Kindness, encouragement and love spoken aloud cast a light into a dark world. Lifestyle expressions like comfort to the hurting and desire to the despairing have the power to transform someone's day or possibly their life depending on the gravity of their personal challenges. What you say to yourself matters a lot. Your spirit and outlook may be strengthened and transformed by hearing words of faith, optimism, and triumph spoken to you. Put the facts of my message into practice in your lives and see how they change your circumstances. Your words have the power to benefit others around you. You bring goodness and choice into the lives of those you speak positively over, whether they be family, friends, or complete strangers. The power to unlock doors, mend wounds, and provide joy in times of conflict or fear is in those blessings. Be careful with your word choice and talk in a way that brings people together rather than trying to tear them apart. The power of your words is obvious in every world and your statements have the ability to restore broken relationships and bring about peace where there has been discord. I am grateful that you are able to share your most private desires and anxieties with me in prayer. These words carry your prayers to my throne of grace. They are more than simply requests. They are vehicles of trust. Words of praise and adoration spoken by you are powerful as well. You bring me nearer and I bring you nearer via those displays of love and devotion. Instead of succumbing to despair and failure, your devotion will lead you to triumph and serenity. Keep in mind that the words you use to express yourself have the power to influence your destiny. By expressing your desires and aspirations, you may pave the way to realizing your ambitions. Your words have the power to inspire growth and transformation, not just in yourself, but also in others around you. Keep the impact of your words in mind as you engage with others. Honesty and sincerity in speech are key. Focus on uplifting rather than discouraging. My love and beauty must shine through in your words and you must do the same for others. Finally, regardless of how difficult or unpredictable the circumstances may be, let your words convey the strength of your faith. Believe in me and tell the world. Speak words that confirm your belief in my goodness and power and let them direct your actions and decisions. Ultimately, my precious kid, you must never undervalue the power of your words. Put them to use by bestowing the triumphs and benefits of living on yourself and others in your vicinity. If you speak from a place of love, wisdom and faith, 
your words will have an impact on people all around the world. It highlights how words have a significant impact on life, how they provide advantages, and how we win. It stresses the weight of duty that accompanies this power and promotes the use of words to restore, revitalize, and transform in harmony with faith and love. To desire and claim my phrase over your lives, I invite you to use the bright might of your words. This isn't just some ceremonial thing. It's a living, breathing, truth-altering action that may bring you into harmony with my purposes and goals. You may talk to me directly via prayer. During times of prayer, you are able to convey your deepest gratitude, share your most private struggles, and pour out your heart. Praying brings us closer together, bringing you inside my heart and revealing how my will impacts your life. By speaking my name, you are doing more than just reciting scripture. You are breathing life into the power of the passages. Words said by me have the power to change circumstances, mend broken hearts, and point others in the right direction. The very moment you utter those words, they transform into a guardian of faith, watching over you and pointing you in the right direction. Make it a habit to pray and believe what I say every day. Get your day off to a good start by expressing scriptural truths. The tone for your day is established with affirmations of supply, protection, and peace. Promises that fill you with want and expectancy. If you are a believer in Jesus, subscribe to the channel. Say something affirming when you're feeling uncertain or worried. Talk about how much I care, how strong I am, and how I am a part of your life. Those proclamations are a powerful defense mechanism against the deception and despair instigated by the adversary. While you pray for people in your life and speak words of blessing over them, you may also be a source of encouragement and blessing for others around you. My affection and charisma will find their way to you somehow. Those who are suffering might find solace, healing, and hope in your words. Praying is about more than just asking for things. It's also about connecting your heart to mine. We are trying to understand my passion for and like for my own personal choices. Your prayers will be answered with a greater feeling of serenity and purpose as a result of this alignment. You don't need to use flowery language or adhere to a certain format. Just be honest and forthright. Just tell me what you want. You may trust that I listen carefully to every word and value your trust in me as much as any caring parent or friend would. Speaking my name out loud is also a test of trust. You may have confidence in me and my reliability since I always follow through on my commitments. All the things you said about my kindness and vitality are just confirmations of what you already knew. Any kind of enslavement, from worry addiction to shackles, may be broken by the power of your words. My message, when spoken, brings liberation and freedom, not just to you, but also to others you pray for in times of need. A possible wellspring of strength for you is the power of your prayers and statements. I am here with you every step of the way, and these items will serve as a constant reminder that you are not alone. They provide people with the strength to persevere through difficult times in a faith-filled manner. Last but not least, may your lives serve as living proof of the efficacy of prayer and proclamation. Give other people a glimpse of the transformation in your life, the contentment in your soul, and the enthusiasm radiating from inside. Your own being could attest to the efficacy of conversing with me and confirming my claims. Use the strength of your words to hope, and proclaim my word over your lives, my little baby. Incorporate this practice into your religious routine with regularity and see how it changes you from the inside out via affirmation and prayer. You will discover a stronger connection with me, get a clearer picture of my desires, and value my influence and power in your life more fully. The tale highlights the significance and effectiveness of prayer and the proclamation of God's word in an individual's life. The text emphasizes the power of these activities to influence one's world, provide direction and energy, and foster a deeper relationship with God and His purposes. Dear precious child, I pray that you be shielded from harm in Christ Jesus by God's peace, which is greater than human understanding, inspiring a profound and everlasting sense of contentment. This blessing 
is a priceless present that goes beyond material worries. In a world full of uncertainty and confusion, this calm might be likened to a strong yet soft barrier protecting your coronary heart and mind from anxiety, fear and upheaval. It is a deeply felt work that defies explanation. This heavenly serenity is not reliant on external factors. It does not rise and fall with the ebb and flow of life's challenges and triumphs. Rather, it remains constant and a constant source of comfort no matter what you encounter in your day-to-day -day experiences. When the pressures of life seem too much to handle, this tranquility may be a refuge from your worries. It eases your anxious mind and your aching heart, and it serves as a constant reminder that I am with you and that I am in charge of everything. In the midst of life's challenges, you are empowered to stand firm and courageous by the peace of God that is in Christ Jesus, which is like having an electrical outlet. This tranquility is a sign that I am with you, assisting you in your interactions and guiding you so that you need not fear being alone. When you're at peace with yourself, you can connect with others in a way that's loving, resilient, and understanding. You can handle disagreements and misunderstandings with grace, and you can build stronger bonds as a team. Sharing this serenity with others may enrich your spiritual journey, so it's not only something you should keep to yourself, this tranquility strengthens our covenant. It enables you to lay your anxieties to rest under the guarantee of my affection and concern. As you go about your daily activities in this tranquility, you will discover a stronger connection to me, a more powerful faith, and a clearer picture of my plan for your life. Permit this serenity to guide your decisions, your actions, and your words. When you are faced with decision-making, this serenity will guide you towards the righteous and blessed ways. This tranquility is a witness to my will. It helps you see clearly which choices are best, so you may make decisions with confidence. A sure sign of the path I want you to follow is the calmness of God. Healing is another benefit of God's peace in Christ Jesus. It takes care of the past, eases the present, and calms the concerns of the future. It's like a bomb that goes off at times of prayer and solitude, restoring your soul and revitalizing your spirit. You are embraced by a serene presence. My word echoes more clearly, my presence is felt more strongly, and my objectives are more readily apparent. Last but not least, know that this work is an expression of my affection for you. It shows how much I care about you and how much I want you to be happy. Welcome this tranquility into your life. Hold it dear and let it protect your emotions and thoughts in all your challenges. As we say our goodbyes, my precious little one, may the indescribable serenity of God sustain you always. Allow it to protect your thoughts and hearts in Christ Jesus, providing guidance, solace and strength for your trip. My love and care for you will never stop and this tranquility is my gift to you. The calming benefit of God's peace in Jesus Christ is examined here. Certainly, I have faith in God's purpose. This serenity offers protection, power, and guidance in all areas of life, and it surpasses knowledge. It's a guarantee and foundation of peace for believers, a reminder of God's ever-present love. May my little baby bask in the splendor of my love as he or she becomes a living testament to my kindness. Amen. This journey isn't so much about my knowledge and style as it is about experiencing and showing them in every part of your life if you love Jesus. Picture my love and admiration for you poured into every inch of your existence. This love has no bounds and it is unconstrained by circumstance. A divine love embraces you despite your imperfections. May the depth and breadth of my love pour out of you as you walk on this path, blessing everyone around you. My mercy has no bounds either. An undeserved favor is a gift that makes up for your shortcomings while bolstering your strengths. Through my grace, you find the strength to persevere through difficult times, the bravery to confront your anxieties, and the determination to pick yourself up after falling down. Your encapsulation of my love and style makes you a shining light in a world that can be so dark at times. Your every action, word choice, an interpersonal attitude serve as a reflection of my personality, attracting others to me. 
Make my style and love shine brightly. Do unto others what I have done unto you. Be kind and forgiving. Staying power, knowledge, and a willingness to put others' wants above your own are hallmarks of your relationships, especially in times of war or when confronted with unpleasant individuals. Please respond with grace. A compassionate and empathetic response is preferable to one characterized by rage or irritation. My grace is more than enough for you, no matter how bad things become. Your religious journey is also proof of my love and taste. Instead of bragging about your accomplishments, tell them how my love and style have changed your life. To others who hear you admit when you were weak and failed, your testimony may provide encouragement and hope. There will be times when my grace is shown, so don't be disheartened. When you're weak, you're powerful, because that's where my electricity is most effective. Standing and walking in humility, acknowledging that every suitable aspect of your life is a consequence of my love and grace, may your life show that it's far via my grace, not your own might. Your joy will not take root because of this humility, which will keep you firmly planted and receptive to my guidance. Instead, you will bring glory that is entirely mine to receive. Be thankful in God's time for all the ways my love and beauty are evident in your lives. There are many. Gratitude not only makes you a compelling testimony to others around you, but it also draws in additional blessings. Let my charisma and love inspire you to help others, not because you feel obligated to or desire attention, but because you really want to show my love to the people I am serving. You personify everything I want to say. Finally, know that following my love and charm is an ongoing journey that requires your undivided attention and faith in my strength every day. On days when it seems impossible, keep going. At every turn, I will be there to support, encourage and advise you. The whole of my love and attractiveness are contained in my precious kid. Give yourself up to the heavenly things and let them mold your life and your perspective on the world. Doing so will make you evidence of my kindness, a model of God's grace in action, and a witness to the world about my love. Being fully immersed in God's love and grace has a profound effect on one's life, inspiring them to embody divine traits in their everyday actions. This, in turn, becomes a public declaration of God's goodness via their connections, devotion, and personal faith. Adventure, my precious offspring. Make Jesus Christ your Lord and Savior, and you will be delivered from all wickedness and harm. This proclamation is more than just a statement of belief. It is a powerful religious act that results in redemption by God and divine protection. If you want to feel safe from the hardships of this life, you should think of your religious beliefs as a shield. Praise Jesus as Lord, and you will recognize his power to protect you from danger and his control over your life. Practicing your faith is like taking a courtship icebreaker with me. It's not even close to admitting that you need a savior and that Jesus is that one. Following him means being attentive to his teachings, taking note of what he says and doing what he says. Anointed with the gospel of Jesus Christ, you will stand firm in times of danger and evil. The presence of an all-powerful and ever-present guardian inside you serves as a constant reminder that you are not abandoned. He is a source of strength and safety for you. When faced with an often chaotic and unpredictable world, this remark may also serve as a source of inner serenity. Having Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior provides peace and security. It's the assurance that your life is entrusted to a God who loves you and is able to overcome any difficulty. Keeping Jesus as your master also unlocks the way to eternal redemption in your faith. This redemption isn't primarily about life beyond death. It's about a new life in this very moment. Rejoicing in God's love and breaking free from sin is a close approximation. For you and everyone around you, your public profession of faith shines a light in the darkness. Your story might serve as an example of your trust in Jesus and motivate others to seek salvation and protection in their own lives. Everything you do and decide to share is included in your statement. Show the world your faith in Jesus by how you live your life. Let his love and teachings guide your words 
your choices, and your relationships with others. Return to your declaration of faith whenever uncertainties and anxieties emerge. Jesus is the one who saved you, so keep that in mind. Your faith will be strengthened, and your resolve to follow His ways in times of temptation or moral issues will be renewed by this reminder. In making decisions that bring glory to God and are in harmony with His purpose for your life, your profession of faith acts like a compass, guiding you closer to the right path. The power of your confession of faith also rests on its ability to inspire a mental and emotional shift inside you. At its conclusion, you will have refocused your priorities for times of worship and prayer, a fresh perspective on life, and new aspirations. Give your confession of faith the spotlight it deserves. Recognize Jesus as Lord and Savior and declare your thanksgiving to Him openly. You become closer to Him in those times of religious communion. Finally, know that making a public profession of faith is an ongoing journey, not a static event. It's a decision to trust in Jesus, rely on His grace, and remain illuminated by His redemption. Final thought, my precious darling, proclaim with boldness that Jesus Christ is the Lord of your life. Your spiritual salvation will be facilitated, and you will embrace safety from danger and evil when you accomplish this. All type 1 is hope this happens. Allow this declaration to serve as the bedrock of your life, directing, protecting, and leading you into a more profound romance with me if you want this. This emphasizes the life-altering power of committing to Jesus Christ as the only way to eternal salvation and the significance of making this declaration publicly. This month, my darling baby, be ready for a deluge of unexpected blessings, including peace and a stronger relationship with God. The heart and mind are prepared to receive these gifts one after the other, transforming your lives in dazzling ways by reading accurate news and life-changing miracles. Think of this whole month as turning a page in a book brimming with wonderful tales of surprise and delight. A new surprise present of love and care sent to you unexpectedly each day will serve as a constant reminder of my devotion to you. A seemingly small event, such as a chance encounter that opens the door to a previously unanticipated opportunity, may serve as the principal indication of these benefits. The tiny things you do each day, like hearing a word of encouragement at the right time or the encouragement I give you at the right moment, are the seeds that will grow into the great things I will do for you. The events of the day suggest that you will receive breaking news that will make your heart sing with joy and thankfulness. A beneficial file about a loved one, progress on a task you've been pursuing, or an unexpected windfall of money are all possible manifestations of this. Like life-changing miracles, every kind deed and encouraging word is a building block. Your health, relationships, career, and personal development are just a few areas where such miracles could manifest. There'll be obvious signs that I've had an impact on your daily lives. You could see healing and restoration in your relationships. Bonds might be strengthened. As a part of the miracles I'm doing, you've seen a shift in your relationships, which has brought about love and unity where there had previously been disagreement in your work or studies. Opportunities for growth that were previously closed may suddenly open up before your eyes. Soon, you will have more work to do, or your efforts will get more attention. These are not random occurrences, but rather components of the blessings and good news that are meant for you. Miracles like that won't pass over your own boom. Overcoming a long-standing fear may lead to self-discovery. Moments of profound revelation or effortless mastery of a new ability are examples of the kind of formative experiences that mold you into your destiny. These blessings and miracles may sometimes arrive in the most surprising ways or from the most unlikely sources, so be receptive to them. Give these gifts with an attitude of gratitude. I know how important they are to you. Tell others about the wonders and advantages you've experienced. Sharing your story of how I'm improving your lifestyle might inspire others around you and provide them with hope. By sharing, you not only increase the impact of these gifts, but you also become a conduit through which other people 
may experience my love during their most private times of contemplation and prayer. Express gratitude for their bounties and wonders. Expressing gratitude helps you to welcome more wonderful things into your life and gets you ready to receive the endless stream of benefits that I have in store for you. Finally, may all of those miraculous events strengthen your trust and confidence in me. They're little signs that I'm always watching over you, my dear child, even when it's hard for you to see or understand what I'm doing. Embrace the month ahead with enthusiasm and anticipation. Be ready for a series of unexpected benefits. As a token of my affection and a preview of the wonderful things I have in store for you, I am giving you access to first-rate knowledge and miraculous experiences that will change your life. The potential for a month of pleasant surprises is given life in this story. Good news and miraculous events that change lives. It's an encouraging message that encourages being receptive to and participating in such heavenly gifts and letting them deepen one's faith and appreciation. Your excellent health, happiness and financial situation may also improve to some extent. With this gift comes the intention to prosper in the areas that matter the most to you. Your success, joy and health are my prayers. If your life is a cup, then this month you will have an abundance of financial blessings. Opportunities for development and success will present themselves to you, and you could even find that your resources are growing. Your life may be filled with moments that provide profound and enduring delight, and this financial wealth is meant to help you enjoy it as much as possible while also allowing you to bless others. Love for loved ones, satisfaction in one's accomplishments, and the simple joys of life are all sources of pleasure. You may use this joy as a power source, helping you to face life's challenges with a positive attitude. This benefit also includes precise health. Power and health will be bestowed on you, enabling you to savor every moment of life. Being in excellent mental and emotional health goes hand in hand with being physically well. You'll find serenity and steadiness, letting you face each day with energy and excitement. When your intentions are fulfilled and passed on, your financial advantages could be too much to bear. Not only will you have to fight for what you want, but you'll also have to help other people. You are being reminded to spend your resources freely and wisely by this economic overflow, which is a symbol of my provision. People around you will get a glimpse of your infectious joy for life. Bringing joy to other people will make you feel good, and you could even discover that your own happiness grows as you do this. This joyful cycle beautifully reflects my heartfelt wishes for each and every one of my children. If you take care of your health, you'll be able to do the things you want to do with ease, help other people more effectively, and enjoy life to the fullest. Having good health is a blessing, so I hope you'll treat it with the respect and care it deserves while you amass wealth. It is important to remember to be grateful and to acknowledge the origin of your benefits. Being grateful not only helps you stay grounded, but it also unlocks even more benefits. Additionally, it serves as a gentle reminder to be prudent with your finances. A source of hope and encouragement for those going through tough times, the pleasure you experience may be a reflection of my kindness in your life. To triumph over life's difficult challenges, your joy is a potent weapon. Top health is important and should not be ignored. Take advantage of this gift to pursue your passions and live a life that matters. Contribute your physical, mental and spiritual resources to helping others and manage your frame, ideas and spirit by dividing up your financial gains. If you want to be a living testament to my love and generosity, you have to be happy and healthy. The way you live your life will encourage others to trust in my provision and pursue the abundant life I provide. Remember, Ultimate, that all those abundant benefits may just be a little taste of the love I have for you. May you be showered with numerous blessings that go beyond your wildest dreams, and may you have an abundance of joy and health in your life. May your blessings pour in abundance in all areas of life, including health, wealth and happiness, my sweet little one. With a willing attitude and an open mind, incorporate such things 
Make good use of them by making a positive impact on your life and the lives of those around you. Remember that they are a token of my affection for you at all times. It's a heartfelt message of hope and inspiration, praising the heavenly source of benefits while recognizing their influence on one's life and the importance of sharing them with others. I hope you found this movie useful. If so, I thank you for viewing. If you enjoyed this and would like to see more videos like this, please consider subscribing to our channel. Make sure you click the bell button to be alerted whenever we upload a new video. Amen.